Hey, Turtle Club, how's it going? This is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and it is time for Melee Monday, as brought to you by Zombie Billy, one of our wonderful subscribers out there. Uh, we are going to be playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and, well, I, uh, I threw it away, guys. <laughs> I We went ahead and got the LAN adapter. Hey, Mr. Hi Hi and Jordan Bradford, how's it going? We got the Wi-Fi adapter, and you guys may notice that below me now is telling you who is talking. Uh, technology, wonderful stuff. Hey, Tyler J. Cherry, how's it going? And guys, we are excited. Uh, we are uh, we're back from vacation. Thank you all for understanding why me and Digrat had our anniversary. Oh, thanks, Tyler J. Appreciate the first like. Um, we were hoping to get back to going and doing things this morning for Majora's Morning Muffin. It didn't turn out. Uh, went swimming in the ocean. Uh, two things is one, I burn easy. Two, I apparently get uh, earaches really easy when I get salt water in them. So uh, yeah, uh, we uh, we really survived that thanks to a doctor. Uh, but yeah, we are now in the public stream room. I got that all set up to where we can see who's talking and all that, and just kind of give you guys an idea. Uh, that is the the redness in my my arm, and that's the redness of my shirt. You can see how they're very similar. All right, we're going to online play. And we're going to go, of course, always to friends. And we're going to create the friends only room. And guys, the information is, of course, in the description for the video on how to jump in and play with us, how to uh, get my friend code, all that information is there. Uh, it's also in our Discord. And I'm, I'm trying out a bicycle for the first time ever in Mario Kart. I got some stats I kind of like. And we're going to give it about five minutes to fill up of course there's jordan bradford already dj brad in the house i always feel like i need to add that because it's dj brad but i'm i'm guessing it's like something jordan bradford oh but of course when you want to peacefully enjoy a stream you get sucked in drama oh cherry 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 bikes are the only reason you play mario kart 8 deluxe i i never really like them i i don't um but i've really weighted this one down and made it kind of control a bit more like a cart i guess and we'll see what happens uh, it is the link bike uh but i've made things to make it like not really bike like i hope i hope i don't know of course zombie billy chose tonight's game uh he is actually working tonight so it's unfortunate he won't be able to play uh, until later if that um so the 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 uh Zombie Billy Memorial Ethernet Adapter, which we got specifically because people like Billy were having issues staying online with us, um, <laughs> won't get tested out until later. Um, well, at least when he gets here. All right, and of course, guys, we always give about five minutes, and the way it works tonight is we do four mirror mode races, five random battles. In between all those, we go up here to our friends list, Boom. You can see we got 10 people online in our friends list. And we got quite a few there. Here's our profile. You can see the friend code there. Poor Billy wish you could play this. I do too, Jordan. Uh, Billy's a real good gamer at this. Uh, Vulcan Me. Um, wow, okay. Playing Crash Bandicoot. I was curious because I know the Special Olympics are going on and she's an actual competitor. So I don't know if uh, her event's just coming up later. She's, you know, crashing out in the hotel. Uh, who knows? Uh, but best of luck to her while she's out doing that. And getting a little closer to time here. It might be just me and Jordan, a couple of bots for a bit, but that's all right. That's all right. It'll give me some time to kind of hone in my, my bike skills tonight. So. Do, 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 do. Boopity boop. That, uh, Probably, probably was other words, Cherry, that were better suited for the other channel, if I had to guess. Oh, best of luck to you, DJ Brad. Best of luck. All right. Good luck. And because I know it'd go easy on me. Oh, Cherry, how's the sunburn going? The sunburn is going a little bit better. Um, a little bit better. It's... Thanks to uh, calamine lotion, of all things. I, I never would think, you know, calamine lotion. Um, but yeah. No, I say boop because the somber mane inside me wants to boop everyone. Oh, you and your La Sombra. Oh, my gosh. 
I need to like figure out where all in the Turtle Club everybody's playing Overwatch, like what system, what console and stuff, and just pick that up because it's. It, I like the game. I don't think I would like it with controller though. So whatever I pick it up on better be mass and keyboard compliant. Uh, I wish Switch games were priced the same as 3DS games. You cannot afford this. Oh, Durful Button. Sorry to hear that, man. I I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to go away. It's one of the reasons why I'm slightly disappointed in the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu games. Because it used to be um, to play Pokemon, it was like an $80 Game Boy and a $40 copy of the cartridge. Uh, Steven Thompson, yes, yes, we ordered, we ordered, uh, we ordered mini players, man. We ordered mini players. Glad to see you waltzing in here with your sunglasses, man. All right, on the PTR, they've ruined poor Sombra. I'm really bad at little Sombra Cherry. I, I use her when I need to be cheesy in, in position caps. I grab her, I stealth, I rush in, and I just hide and hope they never see me. Well, guys, we are past the five-minute mark, so we're going to go here to our mirror mode. No teams, normal items, easy, calm, all vehicles, four races. Let's do this, Turtle Club. Let's see what's going on. But yeah, the Sombra on Overwatch takes a little bit more uh, planning than I'm able to do sometimes. And a little more steely nerves. Stealth Infinite. Uh, no timers for any of her abilities. Stealth Infinite. No, that's not ruining La Sombra. That's making her super overpowered. Oh, wow. Pokemon Let's Go would be a lot better at 40, considering it's kind of a spinoff game. Sort of Durful, sort of. Um, it's a bit more than that. It's like a, it's a double spinoff. It's a double. The time adds the needed pressures. I don't disagree, Cherry, but for what I use her for, for basically just, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> for being really, really cheesy, I, I don't feel like it's bad at all. Oh, there's just a mushroom already out in the middle of nowhere. And it's Steven! Exactly, exactly, Durful. It's, it's really weird, because it's like a spin-off of Pokemon Go and a spin-off of Pokemon Yellow. My cheese doesn't work. Uh... Oh, so she can't capture in stealth anymore. Okay. That that's a little bit better. I uh, I could see that being a nice balance. Yeah, th this bike is nowhere near as good as I want it to be. Oh. Oh yuck. And blue shell coming after me. I'll I'll figure out this bike as the day goes on, guys. Boy, the handling. I may need to just lower the handling. Cuz it, it, it's cornering way too fast, I think. Yeah. But I like stealth cheesing because it's about all I'm good at when I have to go, like, all on aggro. Like, I'm really bad at aggro stuff. Like, you can ask Digrat. If I'm being aggressive in any kind of game, something has gone wrong with all sorts of plans. Oh, baby Mario NPC, why are you trying to do that to me? Her teleporty thingy can be destroyed. Oh, I saw the new hamster hero. I, I cheered for the new hamster hero. I thought that was awesome. I showed that to Digrat, and Digrat thought it was cool too. Oh, why am I getting a blue shell in fourth place? Oh, Mario Kart, why, why do you do this? Why do you do this? Buffing Bastion. Bastion kind of needs a buff, but I'm like, what can you really buff him with? What can you what can you do to buff Bastion to make him fair? Honestly, I mean, he's he's balanced right now. You hate the new hero? Well, it's a new hero, Cherry. You're supposed to hate the new hero. Like every time a new hero comes out, everybody hates it because Blizzard always pushes the new stuff always pushes the new stuff I needed to like test this thing out on um, a nice basic course 
This card is not your thing. I'm right there with you, Steven. I'm right there with you. Uh, the new hero is a copy paste of Winston. So he does a shield and an aerial slam and a laser. Uh, huh. Blizzard is so bad at new things. Take WoW, for example. I don't know about that. WoW is an old thing. Like an old decrepit thing at this point. I mean, they, they keep reinventing it, which I guess is good. Oh, story-wise. <laughs> oh, story-wise, they, they rebooted WoW. Like, they retconned World of Warcraft, which is hilarious if you think about it. They used time travel and said, none of this happened. Everything we built our world on just ceases to exist. What? Oh, oh. With the hamster? Oh, story-wise? Okay. Messages send in order. All right, all right. Hey, Hoenn Cuba! Welcome, buddy. Steve! Guys, we got a new sponsor, but it's 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 weird. Uh, we have we have accounts being juggled around, so um, why am I not getting the new sponsor notification? Streamlabs, you silly, silly, silly. I know what happened because I lost the internet at some point on this computer. It disconnected and reconnected. I'm gonna have to do that. I have to re re-engineer all that. All right. Woohoo! Third place. I'm not good on bicycles. Ho and Kyomo the Cuckoo Boy. Yep, exactly, Jerry. Forsaker of Fortnite and all the ridiculous other names that we can come up with, Steve. And he's such an awesome sport for it. Steve, you're a great guy. Um, wow. The blue shell just went, like, right through my cart. That's... That's funny. And I'm actually able to see Steve and DJ Brad both. Steven and DJ Brad, not Steve. I guess I need to differentiate between these two. Somehow I got into second place with DJ Brad in the competition. First place. Oh, this is going to have to change really quick. Broken clocks right twice a day and all that kind of stuff, guys. Oh, here comes a blue shell. Oh, 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 second place. I'll take second place. All right. Let's figure out where this is all went wrong. Let's get this all reviewed and redone. Boom. Disappointment in 12 hours. Ah, we should refund your downloaded games on Switch. Um, that, <laughs> this game is rigged. <laughs> oh, Stephen Thompson. If this game were truly rigged, I would be taking first all the time. I, I, uh, I don't quite agree with the, the rigged statement there. Uh, but I know it can feel that way sometimes. Blue Shell right at the end. Yeah, the Blue Shell at the end was pretty good. <laughs> I had no doing in that, though. Oh. Let's see here. Let's just get this out of the way, because Rainbow Roads will happen. Rainbow Roads will happen. All right, and... Let's go ahead and get our Discord juggled around just a little bit. Got to do something. Okay, Cherry. No worries. Pretty back and forth game so far. Yeah, that's one thing I do like. Um, we have a pretty well diverse skill set in Turtle Club for playing Mario Kart. My little speed boost did not anywhere near do what your guys' speed boost were doing. So bad at driving. 
Shadow! Hey, buddy! Glad to see you. Shadow, lurking there, lurking. Oh, he lives, Digret says. Yes, yes. Shadow, the man of mystery. The closest thing to a Turtle Club secret agent, I think. But, Cherry, that there's someone in the Turtle Club you can talk Overwatch with. Um, I'm sure Shadow has seen the, the PTR tweaks for Lissomber by now. Apparently, she gets infinite stealth now, Shadow. Which I'm all for, but she can't cap anymore in stealth, which I'm, I'm not. Like, my only reason for using her stealth is to cap. Cute little hamster as a new character. Cherry doesn't like the hamster. Says that it's too much like Steven storyline-wise. You really want to play as a new character or watch Posh? I uh, I need to like fire it up. I haven't installed it on my computer. I have not removed it, which is says a lot. Uh, usually I'll start removing games that I don't think I'll be playing ever again. And Overwatch has stayed on my computer the whole time, so. drift a whole lot more, but I'm not really good at drifting on this bike yet. Oh! Long distance requests and dedication bombs. Someone went past, faster than me. Oh, DJ Brad! Oh, Brad's going to take the first. Boom! For me, Overwatch is play it, then wait a few months, play it more. Posh, you know, it used to be that way with me. It really did. I used to pop on, we'd do like Free For All Friday, uh, me and Shadow would play, or maybe Monday, me and Shadow would play, and then I'd play a little bit on my own, and then I'd like wax and wane back and forth on it. Um, GG, guys, on that. We'll uh, fire up this Rainbow Road and see if it happens this time or not. Oh, double A, hey, Brad, firing off the same Rainbow Road. GX Express Rainbow Road. Let's. Or. or Oh, wow. Okay, Wario Mountain. All right. But yeah, I uh, I just haven't got back to it. Ark has just consumed a lot of my free time. Uh, playing on a server with a lot of other friends and stuff. Um, just, I'm able to kind of, and it's drop in, drop out. Drop in, drop out. I really like that aspect of it. I, I really wish uh, Overwatch didn't make it feel like it was uh, a long, short game. But most PvP games are that, so... I need to learn how to drive, and I need to learn how to play Mario Kart. <laughs> oh! Gazoon <laughs> Height Dig Rat, in case no one heard that on stream. Or in case someone did hear that on stream, I guess. I am in a very good third place here. Super PD Piranha powers activate. Oh, YouTube, why you got that top chat stuff going? Get back to live chat. Ah. For Ark, it's good if it's P. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it's got a nice PVE component with a PvP kind of twist to it, and I'm I'm okay with that ish. Um, I've thought about playing on a like a public PvP server a little bit, but then I realize I just don't have time for all the things in the day I want to do. So far I've not really noticed any difference with the, the Ethernet connector on this side. But I never I didn't used to have a lot of problems either, so Looks like I'm taking a good solid third place, though. So I'm okay with that. 
This bike isn't everything I wanted it to be, but... Maybe I need to increase the speed later. Oh no! Lightning bolts took away all my triple red shells. It'll be no longer a solid third place, but a close third place. I'm okay with that. Do, 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 do. Looks like I'll tie for second. Wow, okay. That's uh, unexpected. GG, Steven. GG, DJ Brad. Brad picking up all four first places, of course. Brad's just a good, fierce competitor. But we got some other competitors in the Turtle Club as well. I'm sure they'll be trickling in as the day goes on. And if you guys are new to the channel, of course, my name is Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming. And, wow, YouTube changed their little system around. Let me go ahead and make sure I can see how many people are watching again. Alrighty, and the six of you guys that are watching, of course. Uh, we are playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch. We got the description that tells you kind of how we do things here. We actually do random battles after we do races. But before we do either or, or switch either or, we come in and we see if we have any friends to add. Right now we don't. That's all right. Uh, okay. All righty. Okay, I just got a note from Digrat. Way cool. Uh, had this game since April 2017. I, uh, yeah, that's actually about when I had it. Um, actually, no, Jul June of 2017 is when I picked this game up. Uh, June 2017 is when I picked up this game and actually had, um, the Turtle Club actually bought it for me. One of our actual top competitors for our, uh, our stream series here, uh, picked it up. Let's see here. You know, I was just thinking here, let me check something, guys. Because of the way Hoenn Kioma is juggling things around right now. We actually officially have 10 sponsorships. That's way cool. Alrighty. Um, we actually hit the 10 sponsor threshold. So there, there's something we get at that. Let me double check here. We get 7 emojis instead of... Six emojis for custom emojis. All right, well, we got to get on that before it all disappears. Um. Oh, yuck, yuck. Hey, gamer, how's it going, man? Let's get this back to where we can actually see our stream. Let's see what we can do here, and this is this is battle mode, so we got to remember that. And with there only being three of us here, we do uh, if we get to eight people in in battle mode, we drop out the bots. But with only three of us here to to really kind of round it out, we keep the bots in. Okay, we're doing random battle, doing some hunting and sniping. Oh wow! Oh, we almost hit ourselves. Oh. oh, is this coin runners? Okay. Oh, I hit DJ Brad, missed the coins. There we go. We here we got it. we got a coin now. Do, 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 do. Bam! I'm not sure. Ah, oh, 
That didn't work out well. Point blank range with the bomb. Blew myself up. Here we're hunting down now. Here we're hunting down now. It's here. Fire. Open fire. Boomerang not doing it. Ah. Ah. Yuck. Lots of target rich environment. Didn't manage to get any coins. I'm back to six coins. I'm going to go to get coin number seven. Gosh darn it. All right. There we go. Up, up, up. Oh, no. I'm getting booed. My, my flower got booed away. Ah, someone ghosted my flower. Aha! Pick that point up. We're at 10 coins. This is probably the most we've ever had in coin runners. Oh, that was good. Sideswipe. Oh, another sideswipe. I guess if I can't... Whoa. Someone just vanished off the map, which usually means we just had a new challenger come in. Oh, boom. So 17 coins. We'll take 17 coins. That'll get a second place. DJ Brad with 21, Steven with 7, Link, Larry, Isabel. I didn't see if any other names sneaked in, but I did see Larry or Lenny disappear off the map. So who do we got cutting in here, maybe? Go to random battle. No one. Okay, that's really weird. Oh, wait. He might have used, used the ghost. Okay, that explains it. Oh, Shine Thief. Oh, no. I'm still getting used to this cart. I don't think we're going to be able to do what we want to do on this. Uh. Here we are. Alright, someone lost the shine. Ah, oh, I, I knocked it out of DJ Brad, and DJ Brad was able to capitalize on me not being able to get back to it. Oh, wait a second. I got it. I got it. I need something to protect myself. Oh no! Steven stole the shine! The shine's on Steven! The shine on Steven! Shine on! Ah! And he's... He is really getting out of there. Eight seconds left. Steven doing really good to just dodge everything. Oh, I had it for a brief second. Brief second it was mine. And it went away. Oh, calm error for, deep, for, for Jordan. Oh, Jordan. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Dry Bones has it now. Oh, that was a really well-timed shake box. Ah. Well, common errors happen on this game, guys. I've done all I can to try to make this as good as possible. As far as connections go, especially.
Oh, Mushroom Steel. And Daisy with the shine now. Daisy with the shine. You know, the communications there, they happen everywhere too. And I i actually went and we raised the money for an Ethernet adapter on the channel. Oh. Link stole the shine. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where's the kid from Kakariko Village going? With my property. Ah. Seven seconds. I might sneak this off. Oh, I might. I might. Oh. 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 Just, just barely. Just barely. Was able to just stretch that out. Stretch that out. Hopefully, DJ Brad will be able to jump back in here after the calm air. Usually you should be able to jump in in between rounds. The get a random battle going on. Here comes Bradford. Oh, this is going to be rough. I bet. Yep, me and DJ Brad. Oh, they reset his points. Oh, well. Brad had 34 points, so we'll, we'll remember that. <laughs> we'll try to remember that because that's that's rough. That's rough. Being on the Renegade side, oh. Right, DJ Brad with the jailbreak, Been pretty good there. Hi, Steven. Really, bye, Steven. Oh, oh, ran right into Isabel. Ah, no. Oh. Bunny hop for justice. Oh, no. We're down to two NPCs. One NPC. I don't think Peach is going to get us there, guys. That actually screams for help. That's funny. Oh my gosh! NPC Peach to the rescue! Oh my gosh! I don't know how that happened. I have no clue how that happened. That that's maybe that screaming for help directs the NPC players towards you. Maybe that's how that works. Isabel got me. Isabel again. Hey, Sally. How's it going? Glad to see you popping in today. I'm feeling okay, Sally. I'm feeling okay. I, uh, my ear feels a lot better after the drops they gave me. Uh, there's some sort of like antibiotic steroid pain reliever. Like they were, they were costly. Uh, 
I don't even want to talk about how much these cost. Um, like, I bought some generic over-the-counter drops for like seven dollars and some change. This medicated stuff before insurance was like two hundred and sixty. After insurance was like two hundred and twenty. And uh, of course, we get reimbursed after the over-the-counter price, but it's it's still going to be like a gargantuan cost. Uh, for the sunburn, all they prescribed was calamine lotion, uh, which for for now, there's a topical steroid. They said if the calamine doesn't do anything with, um, then we can use that. Oh, Steven, DJ Brad, technically with 44 points. And this is Balloon Battle, a low-scoring event usually. Bomb right off the bat. I get two for that. Nice. But yeah, the, the sunburn um, feels a lot better after like just one day with the calamine lotion on it. Uh, it started peeling. I know that's you know not entirely all the calamine lotion is doing. Time is a good healing solution for sunburns as well. It's. Uh, yeah, it, it's not fair that uh, medication can be costly to that point to some degree, right? Uh, I mean, the people who invent you know, or create the medications, those guys need to be able to toad hit me. Wow. Um, they need to, you know, they need to have something for their efforts. They need to be reimbursed for the efforts. And medication is one of those things that's really difficult to judge the pricing on, right? Because supply and demand very rarely does supply and demand both come into play for medication? Um, usually it's just demand. And, uh, and you know, it just doesn't seem fair that, you know, the, it just, the way it balances out. You know, economics don't really play well into medication. Not from, we're, we're keeping it up. Daisy hit me because it was Daisy's banana. Uh, oh, I pulled that shell shield up at the right time. Where is anyone that I can shoot? Two migraine medications cost another twenty. Oh, wow. Wow, that's that's a. Uh, that's pretty rough. Uh, you know, migraines are just really bad in general. Most of the time, we don't even know what causes a migraine. Dry bones hit me, but I sideswiped the dry bones at the same time. If I can hold on to this one balloon, then I should be okay-ish. I sidelined Isabelle. Okay, I'm okay with that. A little payback for the shine thief. She asked earlier. For the not shiny, but I can possibly hold on to. Oh nope. Who's got the crown? Who's got the crown? Oh DJ Brad's got the crown. Ah, uh, uh, I got to lumber out and try to hit somebody. Don't like that. I don't like this. One balloon. I don't like this one balloon business. Oh well. All right. DJ Brad with seven points, me with eight. So keep in mind, DJ Brad's owed 34. So that puts him at 52 points. But yeah, um, just kind of to, to let you see it, Sally, because I know. Uh, I just ah okay. Right there is just basically the sunburn itself you can see a little bit of the blistering not too much brought out of nowhere i know bread's great bread's great but yeah it, it got really nice and red on me in, in blistering and it's starting to peel a little bit it's starting to peel a little bit but yeah it, it feels a lot better now after just a day of the calamine lotion and the earache it was like almost instantaneously gone um yeah, it is, Sally. I, I'm, I'm wearing sleeveless shirts. 
because it's sore. Uh, Dig Rat bought these really nice soft cottony shirts for me. And they feel really, really good um, until I get to move my arms around a little bit and they aggravate it a bit. But they feel really nice otherwise. Oh, Daisy. I got a bomb for you. DJ Brad running around in that Mario avatar always. Always with the Mario. But yeah, it, it uh it feels pretty bad. Digret got it worse. Um, she was wearing something backless at the beach and forgot to put lotion on her back. And I wasn't even thinking about it because I'm used to her wearing something that covers her back on her. And it just hers is about the same as mine. Ah. Two points. And I really wish Mario Kart would let me see a leaderboard to let me know how bad things are versus me and Brad right now. There's some things I would do and some things I wouldn't do depending upon how far in the race I am. What kind of risk can I take? Oh, I got the crown. Things are looking up for me. 40 seconds left of the crown. Oh, mid-air blast by Steven. That was really good, Steven. And really good. Good shot, man. Good shot. Me and my two bombs left. I might have to think that we really sidelined Brad at this point. Oh, Steven with another. Oh, okay. Clearly, I got to protect my crown. I can really do that is just to avoid everybody else for the next 10 seconds. I'm doing a very poor job of that. Oh, Brad with the double crown. If he gets one more bomb, I still win. I think I'm going to take first place. Tie game. Giving him this 34 points. DJ Brad is at 59 points. So, all right. I've, so that's, that's, that's the gold crown for me, which is... Not often. Uh, it would put me at first place. Steven uh, would be fourth with DJ Brad at second because of the disconnect. And, uh, you know, the official record goes on that it's me, Drybone, Steven. Um, it's another thing I think Nintendo needs to do better. This, you know, we GG, absolutely GG, guys, on that. And that's one thing, you know, we, we can talk about all the shortcomings about this game um, because it does have quite a bit. Here's the profile code there. Um, but it's just an older game that was ported from an older system. So there's very little that can happen. You're going to try some item smuggling. Okay. Not sure how that works. All right. So normal items, easy calm, all vehicles, mirror mode, race time, guys. Um, but yeah, you know, this game is... is uh, what's the YouTube alert that I got? Why did I just get a YouTube alert? How did I get a YouTube alert for myself? Huh. Weird. Okay. It said I was streaming, which I'm like, duh, of course I'm streaming. Hmm. I know item smuggling is some sort of weird buffering trick, if I recall correctly. but I thought I got patched out. I don't remember if we did Rainbow Road or not. I'm going to keep trying to fire it off. 
Well, in fact, DJ Brad's doing it now, too. I think that means we didn't get to do it last time. But best of luck to you guys. It's been a blast so far playing. Usually we get some more people trickling in about 9 o'clock. I know Ho and Kiyoma will probably jump in at some point. I don't show him online on the Discord yet. Second place. That that shell did like very little to nothing for me because I can't drive. Go to last place to get good items. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Uh, item smuggling is not a bad trick. If you can get the blue shell and uh, bullet bill, you're usually pretty set. But you need to do them kind of in that order. Because what you can do is you can fire off the blue shell and bullet bill right afterwards and follow it. I've seen people actually have invincibility from the bullet bill when the blue shell hits. Which is pretty funny. Double lightning blast. Oh, wow. If I could only capitalize on that, look how far ahead DJ Brad is. That Mario is just too good sometimes. He is, you know, Super Mario Kart. It is his kind of speedway, right? Item smuggling is the way to go, though, with DJ Brad on the course. He's just a real dominant driver. Meanwhile, I'm using golden mushrooms. This is like course correct. Out of my way, Peach. Um. Oh, this might be good. This might be good. Switch to Luigi. Ah, uh, Jordan. Is that what you're going to do, man? You're going to switch to Luigi, huh? Do, 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 do. Not terrible. No, not terrible at all. Uh, not terrible at all. I uh, I do have to to admit, you know, there there is there is some, you know, some tactics are good. Some tactics are, are not as good. Um, I switched to this bike, and I'm not really keen on it. I think I might switch my cart out. Oh, Grumble Volcano in the mix. Uh, I'm glad we got Rainbow Road, which is really weird to say. Really weird to say. Rainbow Road, second race. Galaxy Express, 009 Rainbow Road Edition. And I'm really not good at handling on this bike. And it's going to really, really show on this course. This is a course that I'm really good at usually. I, at least I feel like I'm good at it.
Interesting, the red shell didn't even bother to track me. I might get second. Someone was really awfully close to me. I'll take second. DJ Brad's so far ahead, though, with them perfect lines. Yeah, there's definitely. Definitely some issues there with me, so let's go back and see if we can. Let's. Where is it? Um. I just missed it. I know I missed it. What's going on? I know there was a. All right, we'll just do this. Hey, Red the Fox. How's it going, buddy? Oh, I hope, please no. I don't know. Two has zero courses or TikTok. Oh, God. No bueno. No bueno. All right. Mute City. Uh, between that and Big Blue, I don't know which one I would have had. Both of them are pretty... Not my forte. Oh, that's kind of funny. The bear's legs get flayed out when it goes into the hover mode. I, I never realized that in the past. Pretty good so far. That'll hit. Well, no. No hits there. Oh, inked. Well, that cleared off really, really fast. That was weird. Hey, Mr. Hi Hi. Welcome back, buddy. And for those of you uh, joining us as we're entering our second hour of our four hour Melee Monday stream. My name is Mag Synchro, I'm one of the two streamers here on Convertible Troll Gaming. The other one is my wife, Dig Rat. She joins in sometimes for some family-friendly action, but generally she can be seen on Unshelled, where she does our mature audience content. She is back, so this Sunday there should be more Skyrim action with Fred the Dragonborn and Dig Rat, his faithful writer. to the speed of slow. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yuck. Oh, that was weird. Like a pinball kind of bounce. I am so far removed from first place right now. You know they need another F0 game. They need another F0 game so they can keep these cards up Mario Kart. Looks like we're going to get a nice, even third place. I'm okay with that. Well, I'm creeping up on the first there, though. Creeping up on first.
Uh, SOTPC. Um, let's go first, first all night. There you go, Steven. There you go, man. That's the way it goes. Uh, I have no clue what you're talking about, dude. All right. Let's see here, cloud top cruise. What have we not played on? Well, we haven't done Baby Park. Let's let's fire that up. See if we can monkey wrench everything, because Baby Park always monkey wrenches stuff. Oh nope. Okay, hey, we did Mute City. Let's go Big Blue. Let's go Big Blue. So if I got 15 points on this, meaning first place, and no one else got, like, anything else. Doo -doo. I'm not even sure these conveyor belts help all that much. Uh, Mike is not on. Uh, Mike, Mike is on. I see response coming back from Mike as well. And you can see my actual voice coming up at the bottom. Uh, that's actually why I know my mic's working. Alright. But I wasn't saying anything for a second there, Lightning Shadow, which might have been why you thought the mic was in off. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sally. <laughs> I was I was confused for a second. Oh. Oh, Steven. Come and wrecked my day. See what happens. We got this NPC passing us now. Oh, red shell, red shell. Oh, oh, man, man, that was that was. That was down in the mud, Steven. That was down in the mud. All right, guys. So I'll take third, it looks like. Um, that's not bad. I I'm okay with that. I beat all the NPCs. What happened at the end? I know, Steven. It was just you and me kicking and throwing elbows. Oh, it was gross, man. It was gross. It was fun, though. It was fun. Oh, and thus ends the second race mode, which means we'll go and get to our friends list here. Boop, boop. And no friend requests. Quick look at the friend code there in case you guys haven't asked Nightbot about it. And we're going to go back down. And, of course, at 11 o'clock or thereabouts, we go to 200cc and sudden death on battle mode. But as it's now almost nine o'clock we're not going to be doing any of that yet we're going to go to the random battle still only got three people in the room so we're going to keep the easy computers no teams normal items easy calm all vehicles five rounds at the end you saw two stars behind us <laughs> oh yeah that was it was it was rough man it was it was pretty crazy man it was pretty crazy get some chaos going here guys see what happens with our five random battles and then of course we'll go to the four mirror mode race right after that and on since it's random i always just choose the random stage because there is some strategy to the stages with different modes but if you don't know what mode you're getting first it's really hard to pick the stage for that in mind like avoid the law luigi's mansion 
really horrible, horrible dodge the law stage. There's very few places to hide. You might join in for a bit. Okay. Totally understand, Sally. No worries. You got work. You got you to gotta do what you got to do for that. I totally get that. Trust me on that. I know Ho and Kiyoma might join us in a bit. He joins a little bit after 9. I know Billy said he's got work today, so he may or may not join. I am a law-abiding cop in this one. And of course, the NPCs shoot everybody. They do not understand what teams mean. saw a peach and we just had a jailbreak Ugh. Uh, jailbreak double jailbreak it's me and Steven it means Brad's probably on the other team and Brad is really good at opening jail cells I've been fortunate to be on his team earlier, and I, uh, I think I was on his team earlier. I know I, in life I've been on his team on this mode a couple times. Digger, I thought that was funny, but yes, the odds are with me that at some point I have played with Brad. Danger Danny, um, wow. I, it has to have been a really long time, Danny, because I do not recall the name. Uh, apologies there. My, my brain is very akin to Swiss cheese for the most part when it comes to remembering names. But welcome back. Welcome back. Just doing some Mario Kart with friends today. Public friend code can be exposed. Oh, I just got Brad. If we could just keep that villager from doing that. Ah, oh, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, villager. You have to stay in jail. You, you, uh, you freed the wrong people. Oh, Iggy, 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 Iggy. No, think before you do things. You already got one strike on your record. It put you away for life this time. Spectator right now. All right, cool beans, man. No worries. Hey, Giggity, how's it going, man? Giggity bite. Dude, I've been watching your arc exploits, dude. That's a uh, pretty cray cray going on. Of course, Giggity is one of our arc fans, and we do have a competition going on right now. This Wednesday morning, we will be giving away a free copy of Arc Survival Evolved as well as four other games based upon the rules set forth in our Dino Hunt 2018 room in our Discord. If you want to know how to join our Discord, exclamation Discord, we'll get that information for you. We're also giving away spectator tags or uh, supporter tags, meaning that they'll be able to voice chat for streams just like tonight's stream. Uh, right now we have none of our supporters that have made it yet, but they do make it a little later. Uh, Sally is one of the supporters, but she's not in the voice chat. She's getting ready for work tomorrow, so that's totally cool. We understand these things. We also are going to have to quickly get Mr. Potato Head some water. We are on Battle Stadium for Shine Thief. We don't get back quickly enough we are going to lose out on every opportunity to get this going and we're going to Doctoling, hey there we go. We got T H Octoling. Interesting. Uh, Quetzal. Yeah, the crossbow is more powerful than the rifle if you get a higher level one. On Ragnarok, we got some blue crossbows thanks to uh, Foxy McAdoo, one of our uh, our pals on that server. Oh, release the shiny. Ah, 
Someone, someone jumped in front of the red shell. Not good. All right. Nobody be a hero this time. Ah. Yuck. Oh. Wow. Wow. GG, Falkling. GG. I guess it's Danger Danny. I have to, if I had to say, because they said they were, they were spectating they were going to jump in. GG on that, yeah. Oh, wow. Purple crossbow? Okay. Uh, from a random drop, I guess. We got the random drops working pretty decently on our server. That was... Wow. Oh, wait. I do recognize Danger Danny's little... Uh, his avatar. I do recognize the the avatar. That's cool. Okay. Right, it's coming back to me a little bit, Danger Danny. Coming back to me a little bit. Third round. Coin Runners. This is not a bad stage for coin running. I've never recognized the sign in the upper left right corner there. That's kind of interesting. I really need a boomerang. Triple green shell won't be too bad. Except for the fact I already lost two of the shells on sideswiping people. Yuck. Wow, the coins haven't all dried up. It's just I'm bad at getting them right now. Ah. Oh. oh, that was not good. Oh, and then it goes Danger Dandy with the with the hoovering action right afterwards. Bounce around. Coins. No telling what uh, what Brad's got right now. Last time we did coiners, he got like 21. Hey Drew, glad to see you, buddy. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm not 100% yet. There's been a couple of shots in the stream where I've showed off the sunburn I got the. The ear infection, inner ear, what it was is determined to be an inflammation of the eardrum caused by exposure to salt water. So I figured that one out. Went swimming in the ocean, got salt water down in my ear, and it rubbed my ear raw, apparently. I mean, it was one of the most crippling headaches I've ever had, though. Oh, my God. I've had some, I've had some humdingers in the past, but this thing... I mean, if somebody was causing this, I would have told them the password to my YouTube account, guys. It was, it was that bad. Yeah, yeah. And my, my doctor actually was currently unavailable, so I went and saw a different uh, general practitioner. And she was like, it was kind of funny because I'm on a couple of medications that make, or are compatible with pain meds. Like, I'm on a blood thinner, which means I can't take acetaminophen because of liver damage from the blood thinner. And, uh, hey, okay. If you guys are playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, um, oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> Got a text message from Odin. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys are playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, the fishing tournament is almost over. 
Uh, Digrat and I have been doing that a little bit. She's been doing it a lot more than I have. I need to get her friend code posted in the in the LFG room for you guys. I keep meaning to do that. But yeah, I can't take acetaminophen. I can't take, which means no Tylenol, uh, no ibuprofen, um, no Aleve or naproxen sodium because of uh, acid reflux. Which is usually what I take because between everything, acid reflux is the, the stomach damage is the easiest to kind of avoid. All things considered. Oh, that was a banana snipe. Oh. Double tap Steven on that one. Yeah, the sunburn. Oh, yeah, sunburn's really bad. Um, it, it's a blistered sunburn, so... Uh, I think they call it like a second degree or a moderate sunburn is the, the technical term for it. I, I swear, Steven, I'm not singling you out, buddy. Yeah, they call it a moderate sunburn, which uh, basically means this is going to hurt. TJ Brad on the offensive. Coming after me like that. Steven, I'm so sorry. I really am. I didn't even realize that was you over there, man. Oh. Like, karma's gonna come back after me for all that. That's that's just... Oh, I got Doctoling. My shield's gone, because I got my shield booed away. Boo, hiss, boo on the boo. Oh, Steven got me. <laughs> you can be in the sun for hours and just tan. Yeah, I, uh, I, I am the severe sunburn. Sunburn under your nose when you had a cold one time. Oh, that's, that's horrible, Giggity Bite. That's horrible. Yeah, my mom was a, a tanning person. My my uh my mother's side of the family is Native American. It's not you. You're just bad at this. <laughs> um, no, Stephen. Uh, it, I don't know if it was uh, it was a combination of it, man. I GG on that. Absolutely GG on that. Oh man, I uh, Native American on my mom's side. She could tan for dates. Like go outside, get color, all that. Me, the the only time my skin's red is when I go out in the sun. And now it's doing that wonderful itchy thing where the skin's falling off, so that's great. Love the cold, but your body not so much. Arthritis. I uh, I don't have arthritis really badly, but where I've broken my left arm a lot, and I do mean a lot, uh, like five or six times, uh, four, five, six, I'm going to think. One, two, three, four... 
five. Yeah, I've, I've had like five breaks in my left arm, uh, various spots. Elbow, wrist, um, elbow, uh, arm burn, bone, and wrist. Um, when it gets cold out, it, it just, it hurts really, really bad. Like my arm is everywhere. I'm just gathering bombs. I, I don't even know why. I'm just really bad at this mode. Ah. This is going to be like a Hansel and Gretel with bombs. I'm going to leave bombs everywhere I go. Maybe I'll just get lucky and they'll blow somebody up. Just every so often systematically dropping the ball behind me. Oh, that was close. I saw the bomb smoke on that one. Ah, I'm out of bombs. Okay, I have to go and bomb run. Uh, you sound like a creaky door. Yeah, that's usually a pretty good sign that you might have arthritis or uh, you might be made out of wood, one of the two. Steven with the highest score on the bomb blast. Last round talking about how he's bad at this game and now he's like, it's, it's a Captain Boom. Boomalot's Mansion. <laughs> Captain Boomalot's Mansion. There we go. Okay with three points. There's been many of a bomb blast mode that we didn't get like anything on. Oh, I hit villager. Take that villager. You did something horrible to me earlier in life. Two, one. Ooh, bam. I don't know why I'm fist pumping, but I am. All that green. All that green, all that Luigi, all that Luigi, baby Luigi of Thoughtling, DJ Brad, all the number ones. Hey, I get the nice try bonus, right? Yeah, nice try bonus. DJ Brad, Thoughtling, Iggy, Steven, you guys doing good, doing good. GG on that, guys. GG. Let's go ahead and pop up the friends list because we just finished a round of Melee. And no friends to add. Let's see what you guys are playing for a second. Splatoon 2 seems to be very popular. Fortnite, of course. Super popular, it looks like. Chadley was playing something a while back. Oh, wow. He had one balloon left, so he hit up top and prayed. That's what you gotta do sometimes, Steven. Sometimes you just gotta hide. I, I have employed the hide uh, in, in, in just hope nobody finds me method many, many times. All right, guys. Four mirror mode race. Easy, calm, no teams, normal, everything else. Let's see what this is going to be like. Let's see what this is going to be like. Do, 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 do. Hmm. We're saving that for when Hoenn comes in. We know he'll be here. Well, we, we hope he'll be here. Maybe not. You may hop on later? Okay, Drew, no worries, man. But you got you possibly hopping on later. Hoenn hopping on later, possibly. Sally might be hopping on a little later. Zombie Billy says he may or may not be able to play tonight. He had work. He got a job recently at, at uh, uh, Chick-fil-A, and he's really happy with that. I'm really happy he gets the chance to to earn money and uh, he was super excited he's the reason i mean look at the donation he made guys 25 dollars is what he paid into this speaking of which i need to change that and uh well get some 
one-handed driving in here, maybe. We'll change that a little later. Absolutely, Drew. Absolutely. And of course, you know, when we talk about support, we think, you know, most people immediately think financial. And uh, we're not that way all the time. You know, we, we, uh, we allow people to put in time and skill uh, right now. Uh, we have one person that's looking like they're going to be getting a supporter tag. That's Giggity Bite. And that's from the Dino Hunt 2018 contest. Anyone's able to join and do that. Hey, holy cow, it's going pretty good, man. It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good at the moment. Uh, so far, I've I've been I tried a bicycle earlier and I just couldn't. I couldn't. It was just bad, really, really bad. Yeah, I'm still doing all right with the cart, but I'm I, I changed my tires, I changed my balloon, and everything, but kind of helped the bike out and it just all backfired. Yeah, giggity. Uh, the 2018 Dino Hunt. Yeah. One of the things that is given out for that is supporter tags. And... You, uh, it helps the stream out, man. We're, we're doing that so we can get a death counter going for it. So we can get a death counter and a dino counter, a few other things, and that requires time. Uh, it's also uh, giggity for the people that are participating on that. They, they have a copy of ARC, which they, you do. The top five people um, that have ARC will get uh, access to our Ragnarok server as well. So you'll be able to access that. <laughs> May need to look at the streams with no info. Hey, giggity. That's, that's the way to go about it, man. All right. So what we were looking for was... I need to really label these a little bit better. Almost got third. I uh, I did pretty good. Haven't tried these speeds in forever. Um, no, they're they're not too bad. Oh, there we go. Now we can get this going. So third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Uh, yeah, uh, that was that was. I like the Quetzal. The Quetzal was good. Uh, it was. It was really, it really, really fun to get the Quetzal. I think I'm doing my math right. If I'm not, then it's bad. Oh yeah, DJ Brad, man, DJ Brad. He's he's been tearing it up. He's been tearing it up. He actually didn't take first place on one course today, which was surprising. Stephen Thompson got first once uh, versus him. So you know, um, just goes to show you, it's it's. Skill and knowing the course play a big part. Been playing slow and steady against your friends and family since they don't have the same skills yet. I I totally get that, Drew. I totally do. I uh, there's a lot of people that were like surprised that we started off with mirror modes. I didn't realize it made it 150 CC for mirror mode all the time. Oh, yeah. Someone red shelled me. It's no. Fair. Well, I guess it is. Oh, that's cool. I, you know, Terraria is one I never got into. Giggity. That one in uh, the Star, whatever it is, basically, you know, Terraria in space.
I hate this chorus because I don't know where I am. There's so many double backs and turns and crosses and whys and, and why nots and wheres and whats and hows and whens. I just never, never, ever seem to do what I need to do. Ah, uh, yuck. Yuck. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you on that, Giggity. I, I think it's the fact that I don't like thinking in two-dimensional space when I'm constructing stuff. Like, I like the, the aspect of 3D when building stuff. Smooth, never mind. Um, I, yeah, brain fart. I know that has something to do with conversation a little bit there, Drew, but... Zombie Slayer 03. Uh, I believe that's Chance's new name that he's been riding with because of uh, Z Zombie Billy, I'm guessing. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I I'm with you now, Drew. I'm with you. Yeah, I was doing decent until the wall, like, appeared out of nowhere. I mean, it's like those parked cars that I keep hitting in, in, in town. Yes, it is. Hey. Not sure what this... Hmm. Ba Boom. Rainbow Road. Here we go. Rainbow Road. Yay. Yay. And actually, Billy got his name from you. Okay. Interesting, Chance. Interesting. I'm sure there's a cool story there somewhere. All right, here we go, Rambo Road, where I wind up doing either good or bad. Yeah, uh, yes, Gig, I got two Megas uh, on the Ragnarok server. Um, level four, both of them. And it was a really easy tame. It took like three servings of honey for each. Um, but... We ran into three dire bears, and it was me, Digrat, um, an otter, two Megatheriums, and two Argents. And I wasn't sure if I'd be able to take on the the uh, stuff, the the two, the three bears, the Argent and the Mega. And so the Mega had to try to solo it because I wasn't going to lose my Argent. My Argent's level 82 now, raised from like level seven. And they just went really, really horrible. Really, really horrible. Oh, Thoctoling. Yuck. Uh, plans for July 4th. I am working, Drew. Uh, now that the company I work for no longer does salary for my position, but they do hourly, and they pay triple time for holidays, uh, holiday streams are going to be a thing of the past for the most part. I, uh, I just enjoy uh, getting paid all that money a little bit more um, than having a, a day made up later in life. That's, that's, that's part of the thing with the holiday system. When it was, back when I was salary, the way holidays worked is if I didn't work the holiday, then they just gave me, um, they just let me, you know, not work it. And now, or back in the past, though, is if I worked the holiday, they gave me a day off free later. Go hunting with Ethereum, tend to take down a small dino, wait for Megatherium to come, take the dino, get the bug killer. Yes, yes, triple time. I know, Sally, uh, the way it works out is the company pays me double time for working the holiday, and then they give me 10 hours, actually, it's 8 hours of holiday time to bank later, or I have the option just immediately cash that out. 
And so I just immediately cash it out. So it's not 100% triple time. I get paid 28 hours to work eight, uh, 10 hours. Imagine you take down a pack of tickled chickens like that. Oh, gig. That's that's good. I saw the alpha you killed. I was like, ugh. I, I didn't think mine could kill an alpha. Oh, here we go. Wario's. Mount Wario again. One of those really good, really good courses. I think Steven chose it. Maybe DJ Brad, I forget who. It's final race, though. But yeah, we uh, we tamed two Megatheriums, uh, Sid and Sylvia, and they managed to die within like 30 minutes. Uh, Digrat took it pretty hard. He was very upset. We had a number of things that we were trying to tame, and they were the only things that actually survived the process. And then for them to die really, really quickly, um, he was done. We haven't tried to tame anything on the server since. We might try taming something tomorrow, though. We were. It was, it was. It's the reason why you shouldn't be playing Ark when you're halfway tired and asleep. Um, which is what happened. We were taming a, a dire bear, and she thought it was a dead corpse, and she chopped it up and killed it. And that was while we were trying to tame everything else. Calm air. Oh, Steven, I'm sorry, man. Guys, I, I'm doing everything I can to try to help fix Nintendo's problems, but. We, we, we raised the money for a Ethernet adapter, and we have it connected to the Switch. I am doing everything I can to, you know, to fix what we can fix. Wow. At least I know I'm driving the perfect line. shells follow the perfect line as do bullet bills so if you ever find yourself behind one and you're driving the exact same path they're taking you know that is the shortest fastest route might be item smuggling I don't know gonna charge up your switch okay well item smuggling is a pretty good tactic we, we found out in the past I'm not good enough to do it though, because you have to be real good to item smuggle. Like your base game has to be on point. Hey, Chance, how's it going, man? Good. Glad to hear it, dude. Glad to hear it. I know Billy won't be popping in until way later if he does. Yeah, it's working. He's, yeah. But he's happy to be working, so that's always a good thing, you know. Yeah, because he gets money so he can buy B bucks and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, that Fortnite, man, that's that's some that's some crazy stuff. I got a guy I work with, his kids got into it, and he was sitting them up for like hundred and fifty bucks for some sort of skins and stuff. I was Ooh. like like what? <laughs> Gotta go? Alright, Danny. No worry, man. That's like way too yeah, I, I know. I was like, ugh, that's that's some that's some crazy stuff going on there. And and you know, he's he's got a situation, um, not not to air out his dirty laundry, but he's joint custody with his ex wife. So it's always one of those things where they you know, they, they try to fight over money and stuff like that. Uh voice chat with Mario Kart eight, yes, uh, Giggity, anything that's multiplayer we voice chat with on the public stream room. Anyone who is a supporter, uh, which again, we're giving away free supporter tags this month uh, for those who are joining in to the Dino Hunt 2018 competition. All right, let's see here. It's time for some battle mode. All right, let's go ahead and get this fired up. Let's say it's me and Hoenn. Um, you jumping in chance? I'm gonna All right. Try. I have to use try. the hotspot on my phone. Oh, hotspot on your phone, dude. That's... That's gonna kill your your data usage. Probably. I uh, I need to relax, Jordan. All right, well, calm down, man. Calm down, dude. I uh. All right, it's working. All right, it's working. 
All right. Well, I was I already hit the button. I yeah, I'm bad at that. <laughs> we are. Okay. Let's see. Random here. Manage your voice chat on stream. You can make weird clicking noises. Test up the mic. Okay. Uh, no worries, Giggity. We won't. We try not to panic. We try not to panic unless people are like screaming panic, and then we we <laughs> tend to look a little you know weird for a second, and then we follow. But yeah, I, uh, you know, GameStop's doing this really cool promotion right now where you can go and get two used games for the cost and get one for free. I was looking at, like, Splatoon 2 and, like, anything, right? And, like, all the good Switch games, you can't find used. Which just proves how good the Switch really is for keeping people. I mean, like, I couldn't even find a used copy of Breath of the Wild. Which says a lot. I think they're doing the um, discount thing on the eShop, though. They are. They are. I need to look up to that because I've I've been thinking about picking up uh, picking up that or I don't know. We we had the anniversary digger at night, and we we are very practical kind of people. If there's something we want, we usually go and get it. A, we'll do like a sentimental kind of gift. As Splatoon, Hadrew. There's a lot of people that like Splatoon. I, I don't know if I would care for it as much. I don't play it as much as like Fortnite. Fortnite kind of seemed to pick up the slack because they are really good at their anti hacking on Fortnite, too. Mm -hmm. And Nintendo needs to really watch out. I mean, because Splatoon does sound like a good choice. <laughs> oh, Drew. Drew. It, it, it looks fun, you know. Um, Octopath Traveler looks really amazing. I was looking at that one. That one's coming out like on the 13th of this month. Old school RPG stuff. Um, you know, I was just kind of looking up at what they had. I was like, man. I looked at like, you know, Xbox and PlayStation 4 and stuff. And they had a lot of really good games that were like used. I'm like, that's just really weird to see. Because, like, God of War. Had, it was used like five or six copies and I'm like okay, there's zero copies of Breath of the Wild over here Breath of the Wild is how old? Meanwhile's God of War had like nothing and it was like uh, Snipper Clips there's a used copy of Snipper Clips I was like um okay and like Super Mario Odyssey wasn't there uh, Mario Kart wasn't there uh, there's a copy of Bomberman which supposedly the community for Super Bomberman R is supposed to be getting there again. Like, Konami has seen in... Oh, Hoenn. Ah. I don't have any... Oh, Hoenn got... Hmm. Go ahead. That's sad. I know the Steam Cell's still got a huge thing going on. Till like, July 5th. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to pick up a lot of Steam credit and stuff. And of course, I'm gonna be picking up a copy of Art for somebody. I know we got four people right now that are in the competition: Hosh, really Sal. Um, let's see here: Chance, Posh, not Chance, uh, Owen, Posh, Giggity, and Sal are all doing that. So I'll be picking that up for whatever system they want it on. I tried the. Uh, the freebie on iOS, it was horrible. I tried going back to it. I showed Digrat. Digrat's like, the graphics aren't that bad. I'm like, uh, compared to some really bad trash that we've played before, yeah, I agree with that. So you've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Anything else you've been playing, Chance? Or just Fortnite? What? So you've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Anything else you've been playing, or just all Fortnite? Uh, just pretty much all Fortnite. <laughs> pretty much all Fortnite? All right. So I know it's usually you and Billy and probably Hoenn that all squat up. Mm-hmm. And Keo doesn't really play that much, but me and Billy play, like, every day. Do once. duos? Yeah. And sometimes slash joints. Cool. 
Trash Royale took over Switch. <laughs> oh, Hoenn. Um, it's taken over everything. <laughs> but it'll it'll be interesting to see what happens because PUBG, they pulled their lawsuit. They actually pulled their lawsuit. They decided they're no longer going to fight um, the copyright complaint in court. Which means that Battle Royale um, has distanced itself so far from PUBG that they no longer feel they can win the case. I mean, Fortnite is just a kid's version of PUBG, basically. It is, and it's not. Um, it It's not kids. I mean, people say it's kids because of the graphics, but not really. Um, someone wants their ice cream, it sounds like. All right, all right, okay. So I'm pretty sure it's annoying on screen. Uh, it's it's a little disconcerting. But yeah, so the the whole Fortnite being kids' version of Battle Royale, you know, the the graphics kind of put that out there as far as a, a possibility. But it it really is the same gameplay, at least if you look at it. Um, they couldn't optimize it, Sally. They tried to optimize Save the World for Switch, and they couldn't. And that, that's that's the reason why I'm really concerned about ARK. <laughs> if they can't optimize Fortnite, Save the World for Switch, and it's basically the same graphics engine. Not the same graphics, not the same game, but the same graphics engine, because it's all UE4. Um, then I don't know what they're going to be able to do for ARK for it. Oh, very true, Giggity. Very true. And I know, I know the new Save the World stuff looks pretty good uh, for quest-wise. Uh, Alienated one was talking about the the new stuff that looked pretty good. I I've not looked into any of it. Um, I've not played in months, which is unfortunate. It, it was a really good game. It still is a really good game. As far as Save the World goes, it's just the the fact that a game that's storyline driven, you're supposed to be trying to complete the story, and Epic Games has not even bothered to finish the story out. Just kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, they the whole Fortnite being kids battle royale, not not really. Uh, I know they've added a lot of stuff to it to where it's very comical uh, and it's really funny that they tried to make an eSport and got told by the eSport committee no like straight up the eSport committee didn't even take a moment to review it they just said no you don't have a challenging enough game to be an eSport while wow, Kia with all the points on that one my god <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be able to play okay that's that kind unfortunate of, that kind of sucks it, it is kind of unfortunate <laughs> It is kind of unfortunate. So the the hotspot thing is that because your guys are on vacation or something, or uh, I'm at um, my babysitting tomorrow. Oh, okay. I get that. I get that. Yeah. Well, it's it's unfortunate. So uh, I do know Sal said that she might jump in a little bit. Uh, Drew said he might jump in a little bit. So we still have some people come in. I know DJ Brad's cooling off for a cycle. Can't play. Um, it doesn't work. It might be just the connection's not good enough to support everything. I right, I looked at my little. Gonna play. I'm just... I'm gonna play Fortnite on mobile. Fortnite on mobile. Oh, that'll work. I've seen some funny pictures of people playing on mobile, actually. Uh, it's it's funny, because Fortnite on mobile actually supports mouse and keyboard. I don't know if she's aware of that or not. Uh, um, I might... I might go back to this for a little while. Okay. Well, enjoy, man. Thanks for jumping in, Chance. Really appreciate right. it, dude. All right, bye, man. 
Take care, man. But yeah, Kerbal Space Program gig, uh, absolutely um, very childlike graphics. It reminds me of the Minions a lot from the Minions movies. Uh, with uh, the Kerbal E's that they speak and the way they kind of are serious but in a, a slapsticky kind of way. But the math involved, the science involved for getting things to the Mars and the Moon and um, all those planets involved, definitely not a, a child's game per se. But the question then is, why not, right? I mean, we have some really intelligent younger kids. Um, I, I was actually in a, a gifted and talented program when I was in grade school where we were doing rocket trajectory, uh, math formulas and that kind of stuff. So yeah, Carol is a Google eyes word speech, which is Spanish, but reversed. Okay. Yeah, I just call it Kerbal Ease because it's it makes it sense. Um, oh, I lost that exchange. Oh, looks like uh, if you guys are looking for some more family-friendly action, of course, Chadley just started streaming. He's doing some Super Mario Odyssey balloon hunting. We might have to, if we had Mario Odyssey, we'd have to do some balloon battles with him or something. Hide a balloon. I'm really bad at that kind of game, so I mean, like, really, really bad. Chadley's pretty good at it. Haha! -ha. Oh, oh, oh! Boomerang, boomerang! Got two with the boomerang. Three with the boomerang. Awesome. Oh, and they gave me a boomerang for my trouble. I'm I'm not okay uh, with having the coins I got, but I'm okay with getting double boomerang. Oh, shy guy trying to do the double again. Oh, they broke my boomerang. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, my mushroom got ghosted. Ha! Keo trying to battle me with boomerangs. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. <laughs> oh. Oh. I lose. All right. Very true. Very true, Giggity. It's, it's not a, a pick-up-and-go game. It's a pick-up-and-learn game. Uh, the problem is, though, most attention spans these days do not wish to learn anything, which is sad. And my, my attention spans included in that. I, I'm not excluding myself by any means. Shiny Squirrel Syndrome basically prevents me from learning anything too in-depth and complicated <laughs> these days. You're too exhausted to be your normal strategic... That's, that's okay, Owen. That's okay, man. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just got to get down in the mud, right? Oh, Shine Thief. Oh, and I'm close enough. If I can get this Shine and prey on a non-strategic Hoenn Kiyoma. I might. I might be able... I might be able to pull this off. No! 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 Kyo! No! Oh! Oh! No, no, no! Stay away! Stay away! My shiny! All you NPC people that don't realize you're supposed to hit the people with the gold thing on their heads. Go away. Oh no. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Oh. 
Rip. Rip. Hacks. Hacks. Oh. Oh, me my piddly one second. Oh, GG Owen. That's that that's it. Battle mode over. <laughs> oh. Even with cops and robbers. <laughs> oh. Don't think for one second you drop the guard shot. <laughs> oh. That was rough. That was really rough. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Oh, you sounded helpful for a second there. Excuses, ho, and excuses. <laughs> hey, Indigo, how's it going, buddy? Uh, GG. Hey, it was, I was hopeful for a second. I was like, I got it. He, he's winded. And yuck. Go freedom. I didn't mean to drift all the way like into the hot spot. Yuck. All right. Even with the ten points this is going to award me, I have like no chance. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wario. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Wario. Was hacky. Oh my gosh. Keo, man, you shouldn't have had the. Oh man, I got desynced. I got desynced. I got desynced. That's what happened. I got soy bacon desynced. <laughs> GG, man. GG. I, I get the nice try award on that one for certain. Rip. Underneath the NPCs, even. I, at least I'm not all the way out. Big close. All right. Okay. Well, guys, we are about to go. The catch on you is honestly not intentional. I know, right? I know. Um, well, it's almost 10 o'clock, guys. Usually at 10 o'clock, we take a quick health break. So we are going to do that. We are going to be back in the next uh, about five minutes, give or take. And we will be back with some more racing action, Turtle Club. Thanks for sticking around with us. Two more hours to go. One more hour until Ricky Bobby mode, 200cc, and sudden death. And we will return, guys, again. Every time we stream for more than two hours, we try to get up, move around, stretch our legs. Make sure we're not sitting for too long. We'll be right back, Turtle Club, after this.
And we're back, Turtle Club. Thank you for the intermission. And let's see here. Get out of here. Uh, what did I do? I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. B button to back out. Exhausted, though. Only day off in two weeks. Oh, 35, almost 40 degrees Celsius. Weather's not helping at all. Oh, man. That, that's rough. That's rough, Owen. That's rough. All right. So we got three in here. It looks like it's me, Sally, and Hoenn, Kiyama. And guys, we just did battle mode, which means we're going to go into mirror race. Four races on the mirror tracks, meaning they may not be the course you're used to. Now, of course, a lot of people in the Turtle Club have told me since we started doing this, they've begun learning the mirror courses. Which we might have to just, we might have to change that up. But we kind of do, we kind of do, because we also... Actually, we're going to change our card out. See if we can get back to our little Porsche Cadillac. That's not it. That's not it either. I thought there was a, a pink Cadillac, but maybe, maybe this is it. I'm just not thinking right. Well, we'll try this car and see what happens at this point because we're gonna get whatever we get but yeah uh, we're gonna have some pretty fun here we're gonna we're gonna do what we can wild Yoshi oh Sal with that Yoshi stage that I'm just really bad at a lot of strategy already going on of course Keo always with the uh, with the first race on his uh, option here is this sunshine, which is kind of his his warm up. That so doesn't look like that. All right. Oh, Sally jumping right in front of one for Keo. I'm sure she didn't mean to do that. and neck right now with Keo doing pretty good in that in my opinion doing really good with that but as the brace progresses his bicycle will start to outperform my little cart all right mm -hmm. all right got lightning bolted into the water oh and the blue shell over my head that may help so far forward though I don't know Roy passing me oh yuck Bill coming up. I can see Keo. Oh. Oh, Keo. I think the blue shell just did you in, buddy. GG. <laughs> blue shell for the win. Blue shell for the win. Whoever had the blue shell, I uh, I thank you. Be you NPC or human.
Oh, GG on that, GG on that, guys. And it's time for Dig Red Snack Time. Today, snack in the My Little Pony Cup is actually a banana cream protein shake. And it's delicious. It is delicious. And like every delicious food that you ever get in a cup, it has a bendy straw. Oh man, kicking it up another notch, Keo. All right, Excite by Karina. Ah, we'll see how this goes. You have to see this cart that I'm driving, Digret. When you got a moment, it's got a sound system in the back. I was, but the bike was horrible, so I gave up on it. This one looks like one of those things that we would see over where we used to live in Oklahoma City. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Red Shell, no! Red Shell, why do you have to hit me? No, no second Red Shell, no second Red Shell. No moss, exactly, Diggerat, exactly. When you're this far behind first place, the red shell might as well be a, a small blue shell. Oh, I got booed. Oh, who booed me? Ah, yuck. I had triple, I had triple shrooms. Oh, Tanuki Mario is sneaking up on me. I think that might be Sal. I don't know. Let's see if any of those. Wow. Hoenn, you just lapped an NPC. And I think the NPC is actually what's saving you right now. Because I can't red shell you. You put too many NPCs between us for me to be able to red shell you. That's gross. That's super gross. GG, yeah, super GG on that. Wow, that was that was that was gross, rude and gross. To quote Kenny. Yes, you're Tanuki Mario. I thought I remembered you being Tanuki Mario. I, that's one of the cooler options. That's one of the cooler options. You know something I never knew. Sorry, you're not good at typing while playing. That's. I'm not good at typing while playing at all, Sal. That, that's why I do the whole headset thing, because it's, it's just better for me that way. Oh, let's see here. Let's get some Animal Crossing going on, baby. Oh, yuck. Hoenn, knowing that he's tied with me for first place, goes to the one course he knew I can't follow. He's like, oh. Take this, Mag. Welcome to Space Station Rainbow Road. Oh, gross. No. <laughs> Nobody should be good at texting and driving, right? Um, more people are good at that than you think. <laughs> I know, Sally. <laughs> it's, it's so horrible. <laughs> We're going to spend the time just trying to figure out how we got 12th place. Like, that's going to be the first way we got it. 
Welcome to Space Station Rainbow Road. <laughs> the only space station designed to keep you out in the deep uh, black abyss. It's the only course where I seriously think about turning on drive assist. Go, Blue Shell, go! Seek him out! Hunt down Hoenn Kiyoma. Chooser of this stage. Thing of names. All sorts of other stuff. One of these days I'm gonna have to remember all of them. Hey, Stephen Thompson, welcome back, man. Alright, and... Final lap. Meanwhile, we are really just not even sure we're going to be able to get this thing done. Oh, oh, red shell. Red shell. Yuck. Stay away. Rosalina. Bad. Cat peach. Really bad. Second blue shell come for you. Oh, start power. Let's go. GG, GG, Owen. That's that's pretty. That's pretty decisive there. I think that was the final race, too. Maybe not. But I think it was. I think it was. Oh, we got more people creeping up in the Dino Hunt entries. Giggity Bite with two more entries. Confirmed on episode 22. Oh, we got another race still. Oh, ooh, okay. We're gonna baby park this up. Vulcan me! Glad to see you. Glad to see you, Vulcan. Happy early 4th of July to you as well. Uh, Vulcan, are you currently competing in Seattle? Digret and I were curious. We were watching the opening events yesterday. not in Seattle you wish you was ah, I'm sorry you're not but uh but you know it it is really awesome to, to see all the competitors there your friend is there oh awesome what uh what events your friends participating in or they, they of course I guess they could be an official or, or a coach too I I presume they're a com competitor, but it may just be a false presumption.
powerlifting. Okay. Indiana. Indiana? Or... Indiana. Okay. So, powerlifter in Indiana. All right. Well, Digrat and I will be on the lookout for that. I should not be getting that in third place. That is super gross. That is super gross. Owen, that came from third place, buddy. Oh, I get triple mushrooms so I can try to overtake Sal, and I get lightning bolted for my efforts. Dreaming to go to USA Games in the future. Okay. Way cool. I'm pretty sure Owen is already. Oh, I need to save, save that one for. Oh, Sal Bullet building past me. And then Steven coming out of nowhere. I didn't even know Steven was racing this race. Yeah. I went from second to fourth. Good game, guys. Good game. Still got a year's in ya. Awesome. I know, Sally. I, I have no clue. Um... You think last race of the game realized two blue shells didn't phase you, so it tried to cheat you. It did pretty good. Uh, GG, though. GG, you guys. I don't know, Sally. Sometimes it does weird stuff like that. I think the game doesn't specifically go by your actual placement in the game, but more so where you're placing with all the actual human competitors. That's the only thing I've been able to come up with to kind of explain that weirdness. And of course, the random battle out of the way, guys. We are now going to check on our friends. No new friend codes. That's all right, though. Go up. Battle mode. Normal items. Three minutes. Easy computer players, because we're only at four players right now. Uh, easy computer, guys. So uh, five rounds. All vehicles, yeah. Uh, you've been watching the games on TV? Not a whole lot, Vulcan. I saw the opening ceremony yesterday, and then Digrat and I went to play Ark. Um, and then today, I went to the doctor this morning, and went to bed, and then woke up, and ate, you know, breakfast, and then started playing Mario Kart. So I haven't had a, a lot of chance to watch the games. But I am interested in them, because the competition always is really cool to watch. So, uh... I, I know I'll get a lot of time to watch at work. So I have like a, a big show hole in my Netflix coming up too. So that, that lines up pretty good. Oh, that just hurt. Not sure what that was. The bomb blast. Doing this for 15 years, Vulcan. Wow. That's impressive. That's impressive. To compete at any level of any kind of competition for that long is, is really good. Steven hit me. I think I got Steven at the same time. So I'll, I'll, I'll be okay with a dual exchange as long as I keep the other four balloons I got. Just waiting for everybody to pile up into that corridor so I could lay into them. That was a little mean and vicious, but that's the way you gotta do it for a bomb blast. Going to this green corridor. Oh no, Isabella, we're not gonna start that stuff again. Go back to pocket camp. Greet my campers. Oh, I'm right behind Ho and Kyoma, and I was out of bombs. Yuck. Ah, Ludwig. 
Oh man, I've been I've already been beat down to three bombs, one no three blasts, one balloon? Not even good. So not good. And Waluigi. Shy guy. Oh, Sal popped me down from five to two. Rounds up. Rounding up math. Nintendo. Ugh. Why do they have to be so vicious with the math? I guess it's so people with one uh, point don't wind up just sticking at one point forever. Lots of explosions, lots of blowing stuff up, lots of inkling. Oh. Ha ha ha! I got the NBC Iggy to hit home in Kiyoma. That was funny. I was out of balloons. I was out of bombs, so I borrowed an NPCs. <laughs> Didn't do me any good in the long run, but in the short run it made me feel pretty good. points one second throw the bomb bam good game guys gee 18 points from Gio my gosh that's a lot of bombs Steve stop hitting you <laughs> oh Sal that's uh it's the way karma goes around I guess because I hit Steve, like, a lot earlier today, so he's got some good karma going his way. Like, one balloon, one bomb blast, I hit him, like, five times, I think. <laughs> it's funny, three of us have chosen randomly, and Hoenn's, like, strategically going over the eight stages, going, if we got this left, we'll go with this. He's hoping for Shine Thief, is what he's hoping for, because he's... Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, Steven. I, I know exactly what you mean, man. Just need to practice. Practice does help on this, Sally. Practice does help. Um, I don't get a lot of it in, but I've, I've been told it does. So we'll, we'll go with that. Got to pull yourself away from Xenoblade. You know, I... Uh, I didn't really care for the demo on Xenoblade, which is really weird for me because I I usually like those games like that a lot. Where did you go, Keo? I got a banana with your name on it. Or not. But it looked really good. I was expecting better, and I, uh, I just, I just couldn't get into it. Burn the crown. Kristen Suttle, K10 Marie, hello. Welcome to the channel. My name's Mag Synchro with the Riddle Turtle Gaming. And we are a family friendly channel. You can watch above my head. You'll see the scrolling rules. The description for the video is how you can join in the fun. We are playing in a private friends only room on Nintendo Switch. Nightbot will give you a link to my friend code if you follow the instructions in the description. I've not been able to find anybody to uh, to attack. Uh, you and Marie are clones. Okay. 
So now I'm kind of curious, are we talking like Orphan Black clones? Are we talking Star Wars clones? Are we talking like Doctor Who, Sontaran clones? I mean, clones is kind of a, an ambiguous term, but there's a lot of different kinds out there. Oh, that was just pure luck. I gotta get some power-ups though. Now, of course, it could be the kind of clones that are on uh, a certain magical kind of index, where it's a robotic clone, which is still technically a clone. Oh, Roy got me. Roy popped me one. Toadette got me one. Ah, oh, I'm just not. I'm doing it. You subscribe. Well, thank you for the description. Really appreciate it. If you got your privacy set to public, uh, we should see a notification come up. If not, that's all good, too. Oh, Villager hit me at the last second. Got one balloon left. One second. Looks like I'll be taking the crown here. Oh, thank you, Marie and Kristen Kurt. GG on that one. Uh, with the points, I looks like I'm in a good solid third place still. Shine Thief is still here. If we know Shine Thief and Renegades and Outlaws are next, so we'll do our best Shine Thief course. And Renegades and Outlaws course is, is decent. GG, guys. GG. All right. Urchin Underpass. If I'm a Renegade, I have a pretty good shot at this. Hmm. Looks like I'm not a Renegade. Rip my shot. Probably sniped Hone on that last one. Hey, man. When you can get a snipe, no matter who it is, sniping's actually... It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. Banana sniping is probably what feels the best. Alright, here we go, Inkling guy. You cannot get away from the long arm of the law. Remember this game. It's only been out for about a year, so it's, it's easy to remember. It's a fun game. It's actually one that was chosen by one of our subscribers, a guy named Zombie Billy. Uh, he donated $25 to the channel this week, or last week, or the week before that, rather, with the vacation we took kind of muddles the waters a little bit. Isabel being Isabel again. Ah. All right, let's see here. We got two more to catch. Two more to catch. One more to catch. A Keel with the jailbreak. Oh. We get to him, we get to him. Because it's clear that Keo is breaking people out of prison cells. Oh Mag, hey it's Island! Hey man, it's been a bit. We were on vacation for our anniversary, so that you know that kind of made sure that people weren't gonna see us for a little bit. Oh, Keo. Gotta be busting people out of the jail, huh? And that one too. Ah, oh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Kristen, thank you. And Emery. All right, we got we're getting some people captured here. Been having a pretty good fun time playing Mario Kart with friends. Got Sal. Got Hoenn, Kyoma, got Steven Thompson, just tearing it up a little bit. All right, well, all we gotta do is catch one Inkling Boy. Oh, Inkling Boy busted a cage. Oh, there's Inkling Boy and Ludwig both coming over here. Ah, so close. 
So close, so far away. All right, let's 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 let's, let's bump it up as best as we can. Don't think we're gonna get there, go guys. Mario Kart Switch or Wii U? It's eight deluxe, uh, which is we uh, Switch. Um, the Wii U is Mario Kart Eight. The Switch is deluxe. It happens. It happens. GG on that guy is GG. We still get Shine Thief, which Shine Thief is the great equalizer. 20 points to the person who gets Shine Thief uh, down in, in the right there. So hopefully we'll get Sweet Sweet Kingdom Shine Thief, which is a pretty good course for us. Sal's going for Sweet Sweet Kingdom too. She's trying to keep Ho and Kiyoma off his game. Oh, wait a second. What? Coin Runners? At Dragon Palace. Looks like Ho and Kiyoma fell for the little trick that I didn't know what stage we were on. It wasn't really a planned trick. It's the fourth round, so we had Coin Runners or Giant Thief left. I wish I could say I planned it, but it didn't happen to be a plan. It was me actually not remembering how many rounds we played. Alright, if Keo's going that way, we need to go the other way. We need to try to hoover some coins down here. Oh, Sal's going down here. Oh, we're going to have to go into the middle of it all then. Yuck. Into the fray, into battle we go. Oh, thanks, Zylan. Thanks. I uh, I need a lot of luck in this game. Um, my, my skill level is really poor, so luck usually has to do more than its fair share. Steven, let's see. Actually, our best bet might be to hunt down Keo and just deprive him of points. It's a pretty bad tactic, but it's not a nice tactic. I, I can say it that way. I can just hear Keo in the background going, no, 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 Mag. Oh, where are you, Keo? Where are you? There he is. Ludwig's got the crown. Keo's got a nice, comfortable second or third place, I'm sure. Oh. Look at him dodging all of those fireballs. online yes Zylan it is online uh, using the Nintendo online service uh, 42 points that was that was really bad my strategy did not work out the way I needed it to work out but it was a strategy I uh, I'm evolving a little bit not by a lot but a little bit
Fourth is not anything to scoff at. Fourth is not anything to scoff at. Woohoo Town with Shine Thief. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think if Steven or Isabel takes Shine and just runs with it, um, they can actually take first place. Oh, wrecked. Kia with the shine right away. I had, I had the shine for so close to 70 subs. Congrats. And now you're banned on our channel. Advertising your channel is a surefire way to get banned, guys. It says so in the rules right above our head. We got people that were complaining that they couldn't see it in the description. So we put it right in our video. Where are you at, Kyo? Steven doesn't. Steven got the shine. That means Keo doesn't have it, so I'm okay with this. Run, Steven, run. Run away from everybody. Stay away from the Keo. Stay away. No! No! <laughs> uh. GG, Kyo, GG. <laughs> 62 points out of the five rounds. Really good. Really good. Star power at the end can't even help me. Couldn't even help me. Hope you don't mind me asking, but when is your next ARC stream? Xylan, no worries on asking there. Uh, it normally would be Mondays and Wednesdays. I was not feeling good earlier this morning, but the next ARC stream will be this Wednesday at 9, uh, Wednesday night-ish morning, however you want to say it, at 3 a.m. Eastern. Um, so, in roughly 54 and a half hours. I hate to kind of say it weird like that, but it's just the best way I can say it. <laughs> All right, we just finished our battle mode. Uh, we're going to do a mirror mode race and then the 200cc race. We have no friend request pending here. Going to show the friend code real quick. Pop down there. I'm glad you feel better. Me too, Zyla. Me too. Went on vacation with the wife. Went swimming. Was wonderful. Went to the beach. Had a great time. About three hours after we got back to the hotel, realized I had a sunburn. Um, a couple days after that, had an inner ear irritation. And finally, you know, got to the doctor today and they're like, yeah, you, you, you goofed. You got swimmer's ear. Congratulations. Makes your head feel like it's about to pop like a balloon. Uh, Digrat got a sunburn. Um, pretty bad. I, I burned worse than Dig Rat, and the fact she got one tells you how bad the sun was that day. Uh, she also failed to get a little bit of sunscreen in the, the part of her back that got burned, so. But even then, I mean, her, her sunburn, you know, it, it was pretty bad, but it's, it's clearing up already. First race, Hyrule Kingdom. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Let's immediately drop to fourth place when everybody else just gets faster than me. We're fine with that. We'll just mushroom past a couple people. Come on, fly past the cannoneers. 
Oh, balloon into a power up, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I'm glad I'm feeling better too, Zylan. And this uh, this Wednesday morning will probably do in uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Uh, actually, putting him in the daycare center. That's that's kind of my thoughts at the moment. power coming up from behind. I don't like that. Star power ran out. Oh, that's good. Still not sure how the secret passage on this stage works. Except for the fact that I never seem to get it. <laughs> I can't tell if it's a timing thing or anything like that. Looks like Steven's ahead of me. Got a bullet bill about to pass me. I don't think they ran out of bullet bill juice. GG, oh yeah. Oh yeah, GG on that as well. Hey, opponents! How are you? Other than being up at a very late hour for opponents. Gotta go. All right. No worries, Silent. Thanks for leaving a like. Really appreciate it. If you guys see what you uh, like and like what you see, drop a like on it. Let your friends know about the channel. That's the way we can help the community grow. We can do, you know, bigger community nights than what we have now. Uh, the more people get involved, the more fun we have. All right. So we got that right out of the gate. How was your time away? Um, other than an earache and a sunburn, opponents, it was great. It was wonderful. Getting to just do pretty close to nothing. Um, popped on Ark to take care of the dinos a little bit. You know, uh, we, we did the beach. We did some eating out. We did a little bit of walking. Uh, went to Paranormal Cirque, which was kind of cool. Oh, Moo Moo Meadows. Making its appearance. Causing Hoenn to have all the flashbacks. <laughs> oh. Hush. <laughs> moo, Kyo, moo. Uh, even opponents getting into it. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to use my speaker box. Last lap. The Um Um Edos. Where's 
Where's Keo at? Oh, he's, he's all the way up there. Okay. So we'll seriously back to normal now. They should be for right now, opponents. And I, and I say that because I have an all-hands team meeting with my company next Wednesday. Not this Wednesday coming. But next Wednesday. And supposedly that's when we have another another schedule change uh, coming up. Yeah, you left him. I noticed that. I was like, where, what? They we're hoping that the, uh, yeah, we're, we're hoping that the schedule change that I get with is not going to be too stretchy. You know, it's too, too different from what we're working. Uh, yeah, the lapping NPCs is uh, pretty ridiculous. All right, guys, this is course number three out of four. Another schedule change. I'm, I don't know how bad it's going to be, Hoenn. I don't know. Optimally, we would go back to Monday through Thursday, and we would be able to go back to doing, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Majora's Morning Muffins. But I don't know how I don't I don't know how life's going to treat us on this. I don't. As it stands, due to some legal situations with some of the guys that I work with, I may wind up still staying on the same schedule even. So, if that happens, you know, that's that's kind of yucky for me in a sense, because I really did enjoy having weekends off. But it would be good for the channel, because we wouldn't have to worry about disrupting everybody's viewing habits again. Ah. Lightning bolt. No fair. Yep, we are still doing the shooting gallery on Majora's Mask opponents. We're going to give it one more shot. A Wednesday morning, guys, will be the penultimate shooting gallery stream. Either we do it or we don't. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, oh, just squeaked by first place on that. Oh, that was just by the, the like, the threads on the bib that... Bowser Jr. wears. I mean, good game, guys. GG on that. That was that was a lot closer than the points indicate. Another hour of torture. <laughs> oh, opponents. It, it's it's torture for me, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Oh, that was that was actually not a side bike. Wow. I know, Steven. It was like neck and neck, and right there at the end, I thought I had second place. I thought I had second place, and now nowhere it said first. I was like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll not complain about it. We'll not argue.
All right, we're back to Big Blue. Uh, let's see here. We got somebody joining us in voice chat. Looks like Posh. Is that who that is? Maybe not. All right, you guys. We were we were talking with Digrat for a second. She was she's playing on the Ark server, and uh, there's stuff that I keep forgetting to teach Digrat, and so she winds up having to learn it the hard way. And one of the things that she wasn't aware of is the some things will actually increase the torpor of an animal actively, and so now she's on an unconscious mammoth for right now. Hey, Hero Michael, how's it going? Oh, new drawing tablet for opponents. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. So Posh has got the the mic muted on Discord, so I'm guessing Posh might be coming in to start racing with us in a little bit. Fourth place Bullet Bill. Not sure how fair that is, but we're going to take it anyways. Into a Golden Mushroom. And from the golden mushroom into triple mushrooms. Into a single mushroom. Wow, that just really, really just punctuates how far behind I am in this race. Oh, and a blue shell because I am technically the first place person at the moment. Oh, wow. GG, GG. I know, Owen. I uh, I got really lucky with the the draw pulls, and then that's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. Congratulations! Oh, GG, guys! Wow, can't do the shortcut in mirror. Ha ha ha! Hit with a red shell right at the end. That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh. Why did it just sign me out of YouTube? You are just horrible. We'll be unmuting in a second. Okay, Posh, no worries. All right, guys, it is time for the 200 CC. Time for Ricky Bobby mode. We are close enough to the 11 o'clock hour where we will be switching things up. We will be switching things up. Um, you know, it's been really close, Hoenn. It's been really close, Hoenn. All right, so guys, 200 CC race, no teams, normal items, easy computers, all the vehicles, four races. If you blink, they'll go by. If you blink, the other cars will go by. To uh, you know, it's just the way 200 CC works. We are going to get ready to gear up on this. I'm usually not prepared for it, so I, I can't tell how people adapt to it so quickly. Especially after doing nothing but, like, you know, normal driving for the number of hours we're doing. Space Station, okay. No, no Space Station. No Space Station. No disassemble. No disassemble. There we go. If you got to do a Rainbow Road, be, in, be a friendly Rainbow Road. It was just spamming those red shells willy-nilly. It was really, really far behind. Only caught up with mushrooms. Wow. Wonder what track you'll pick. Everybody knows what track Posh will pick. Posh will always do the Moo Moo Meadows. Oh, Baby Park. Baby Park. Three, two, one, go! Here we are. Round and round the drift will go. Wherever we stop, no one knows. The only place you know for certain is your own.
And most of the shells that you usually would use, like red shells, typically a really good weapon in this mode, um, it's not on this course. Because you don't know exactly who you're hitting. You're lapping NPCs half the time. GG. GG, I got fourth. It's just a crazy, crazy course. But it's a good course for people to kind of hone in the speed, the drift, the turns, all that stuff. All that stuff. That went quickly? Yes. Yes, that one that course usually does go pretty quickly, Posh. Oh, that's cool. Let's see here. Turn your volume up in Discord a little bit, Posh. We turned you down the other day because of something. All right. Lapped a lot of people, so you don't know. Ah, uh, hard to say. This course gets really crazy. Uh, well, 200 CC gets really crazy. Hey, it's my course again. That's that's great i was using this as my throwaway um i really don't like piranha plant side in 200 cc at all uh -oh. yeah it's not good at least it's not grumbo volcano or a really bad rainbow road i'm gonna have to perform my cartridge Yeah, I, I like not ever practice on 200 cc for this course at all. Like, yuck. Dust on your cartridge? For this cartridge? It's been a while since you played this game, huh, Bosh? So, what have you been playing then? Ah, uh, been playing computer or PS4 or? Oh, okay. So actually doing activities then? Or just watching TV or something? Just watching YouTube all day. Watching YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Well, nothing wrong with YouTube. I, I watch a lot of YouTube. I've been trying to get better at watching other streamers so I can get a better idea of who we can raid and stuff. There's just not a lot of family-friendly streamers out there um, that stream about the same times. That's that's really what it boils down to, is the times that I'm usually streaming, most family-friendly streamers have stopped. Tenth place. Yeah, we definitely have no clue what we're doing course when it comes to this 200 cc side even a bullet bill bullet bill got us into like ninth maybe oh sixth okay it's not too bad i think i just starred you to oh that those double right angle turns are just gross I didn't expect to do that good on this track. I'll take it Hoenn Kyoma got first. Maybe not, though. Tanuki Mario is ahead of you. Sal might have actually got you on that one. We'll find out in a second. Oh, okay. Kyo, all right. That's a lot. 
Why does RNG hate you? <laughs> I'm not sure. No, he wasn't ahead of anyone. Uh, well, Sal, it happens that way sometimes. It, the placing on the map sometimes is really hard to tell. I feel like it's a sign. The one time I didn't pick Moomoo Meadows, I got a Kamehameha. <laughs> that's that's the Moomoo Meadows gods telling you, how dare you forsake us. Grumble Volcano is back. <laughs> yeah. 200 CC Grumble Volcano. Ouch. Please no. <laughs> oh, it happens, Thompson. It, Steven, it's it's the way it is, man. I know. At least it wasn't Space Station Rainbow Road. Into the lava we go. Hoping for the best. We don't know. So, Posh, do you have Ark on PC or do you play on something else? Uh, Xbox. Xbox? Yeah. Just been trying to get a feel for what everybody is playing everything on. I do know that Xbox, Switch, and PC can now all play Minecraft together <laughs> on the, uh, I think they call it the Bedrock Edition. Yeah, I think so. On the Switch. It's, uh, it's actually the, the console no mods version, apparently. So it's kind of like, all right, so vanilla Minecraft, you can play with everybody, but you can't do anything about it. I've been looking into it, and I'm like, I just... Yeah, you can play with everybody. That's the great part, right? But the fact that you can't really do anything beyond that kind of makes it sad. Oh... Lucas lives on with the Grumble Volcano Antics. Not on this stage, that's for certain. Ah, lava, one of the few things that star power can't save you from in this game. As you just found out, as you went right into the lava after I did. Did? It looked like you did on my screen. Desync will happen and do really weird things. It looked like you just glided right into it actually. Now I'm in 7th place, and the world's right, Lucas will join back one day. You should keep his name with live with Crumble Volcano. Oh, keep the torch going, Keo. Keep it, keep it going. 45 points, Hoenn with the double, triple first places. Of course, second and third place is really kind of active right now. 200 CC is so fast, I know, Sally, I know. And we, we, we do the 200 CC because we have a lot of people who pop up in streams and they the first thing they always ask is, why aren't you doing 200 CC? And my response is, because I'm really bad at this game. And then, so we had, we finally gave in. We do one 200 CC race every time we do this game. Battery's so low, but must press on. Oh, Steven, be a trooper, man, be a trooper. Oh, Sally with the Rainbow Road choice. Ah, okay, okay. Galaxy Express Rainbow Road. Out of all the Rainbow Roads, I, I like that one the most. The one Sally chose, I like the second. And then the, the Space Station one, I wish would be removed from the game. <laughs> but, but I don't work for Nintendo, so I have no control over that. I don't work for them, I just work with them, guys, as an official partnered Nintendo streamer. Right, here we go. Rainbow Road going. It's 
Red shell for Steven. Oh, Steven actually, pa oh, Bosh. Passing and letting Keo take the red shell. I get in the first place, and what does the game grace me with for a power up and a coin? Keo, and he gets the next red shell, I think. Oh, Posh taking the second away from me. Oh. oh, rip. For the second, all the way to fourth. To fifth, to passing the finish line, I was so close and so far away. But that will I think that was race number four, so that'll be it for for the 200 CC. Like I said, guys, if you blink, it'll go by fast. When we do 200 CC, it normally takes about 10 minutes to wrap up all four games. First place finish for four in a row for Hoenn Kioma. He'll take first overall. Looks like I actually wind up with third. Ah, oh, good job, Steven. Second. Sal, um, keep practicing. It, you will get there. You actually are on the board. That's the important point. That's the important point. Getting on the board is hard to do on 200cc. My first 200cc, I wound up with zero points. Alrighty, and now we do the thing where we accept the friends. I don't think we had any friend requests pop in, though. Nope. All right. The important part is that I'm having fun. That That is very true, Sally. That is very true. More important than anything is to have fun doing what you're doing. All right. Random battle. No teams. One minute each. Fifteen rounds. There's five of us. But sudden death. No computers. So here we go, guys. Let's fire this bad boy up. And see what happens. Yes, you agree, crowd of yours. <laughs> oh, it's a lot easier to agree. The important part is to have fun when you're first place heal one. I need my hat. Well, Posh, you have 15 rounds to go after the hat. We'll see what happens here. There is definitely lots of opportunity. Yes, fun. <laughs> And there we are with Woohoo Town Coin Runners being the first round. Going to play on TV mode now. Oh, okay, Steven. No worries, man. Coin Runners. It would be cool if Woohoo Town actually showed the correct time on the clock. That would be something that Nintendo should be able to do. I know, right? I guess it's... I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a multi-shared thing and Animal Crossing static. Hmm. Still disappointed also, speaking of Animal Crossing, that we didn't get an announcement for one of the three. Well, E3 is come and gone. There's there's no more yet to it, right? <laughs> yeah, E3 is off the table now. But we still have an option to get it. I, I just... I don't know. I, I, I like the fact that we got a lot of cool announcements at E3, but I just feel like some of the announcements we didn't get were just really badly missed opportunities. Though I do find it funny, uh, speaking of like game news in general, um, you know, Fallout Shelter has a, a lawsuit right now against HBO for their Westworld game, which, 
Yeah, and it's funny. Uh, they actually are assuming um, you need glasses. Okay, Steven. <laughs> uh, that's something your optometrist and you will need to speak about, I guess. But yeah, uh, so Fallout Shelter is this city building kind of game where you get little NPCs and you send them out on missions. It reminds me a lot like Tiny Tower, which was like the, the mall building game where you made this giant skyscraper mall. But, so... Tiny Tower. I'm not so sure. what? I think I've played Tiny Tower. I'm not sure. Probably. It's a free game. Um, it's really fun for a couple hours. I, I played it probably for about 15 or 16 hours in total. But it was like five minutes here, five minutes there kind of thing. Um, but the lawsuit was really funny. Um, because the first thing they, they did was they claimed it was the exact same game. And they have to prove that the code was stolen and a few other things. And the way they went about doing that is they pointed out that the bugs in the game itself match the bugs that Fallout first had. Oh, gross. We're about to lose this. Wow. Wow. Sal and Ho and Kiyoma on fire. Gross. Wow. I think that's a that's either like a first or a second on here where the cops won sudden death on on Renegades Outlaws. Wow, that that's crazy. That's 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 gross. But yeah, so they 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 basically team Kyo Sal, absolutely, man. Absolutely. That was that was yuck. Wow. That like hurt. <laughs> I was pretty. I think there was. Was there like 44 seconds left? No, there is 34 seconds left. Wow. That was that was that was like Blitzkrieg fast. Not yeah, halfway. not even halfway. That was that was that was gross. That was great. But yeah, so for like a, a company to come out and say, well, the reason why we know you stole our code is because you have the same buggy glitches we have in our game that we fixed. Pretty funny. Yay, five points, which will put me clearly in third place still. <laughs> GG on that, guys, GG. I've been meaning to ask you, Keo, uh, how's the new headset working out for you, man? I, I know you got the headset on my recommendation, so I'm curious, want to make sure it's actually, you know, working well for you. He's like kind of in game mode, so I guess he's not going to respawn. <laughs> Sorry, I had to plug laptop in. Okay. A 
We're going battle for Urchin Underpass. Akio, we saw what you're trying to do. We stopped. Oh wow, Kyo's already down to one balloon. Oh no, he's down more than one balloon. All right. Had a balloon hit Steven. I'll, uh, I'll take two points, no clear crown winner, so it means like. I don't know. Why there's no crown there? Two points for all this. Okay, that's why, because it was like super tied. Alright. GG. You okay, Posh? Ah, uh, okay. Three plus points equals crown. Oh, okay. All right, that explains it. I did not know that, actually. I just thought the person who was in the lead got the crown. As evidence there with the shine on top of it. Does anyone else feel it's like a little, uh, just too on the nose that the crown for this has the shine on top? Considering Shiny Thief, probably it was on purpose. Yeah, it seems like it's just super weighted to that. Shine Thief, here we go. Desync with Posh, maybe? Yeah. Come the silence of the oh posh! Why'd you have to get in the way? I had it lined up. It was going to go great. Oh, rip, rip. GG, GG. Ah, uh, close, close. Two more shine thieves. Yep, you're correct, and uh, two more renegades too. So that's that in and of itself is 60 points in the whole great scheme of things. 60 hard line points. So unless somebody gets 60 points higher than everybody else, it means that they still have a chance of overtaking them. All they have to do is win every single shine thief and every single renegade outlaw. That's not really easy to do, but it's still a possibility. And getting just to put me and Sal on the team, you'll be fine for Renegades. Oh, you've proven that at least once, right? We'll have to see what happens later. All righty. Coin Runners. Urchin underpass coin runners. Here we go. Here we go. See how this all boils out? 
I'm pretty sure this was the case for a lot of people. But the first thing I did when I got a Switch game card was like it. A lot of people have done that. I uh, I had no desire to do that after seeing people make their funny faces. I have tasted dandelion tea before, um, so I would presume that I've tasted a dandelion because of that. Mm -hmm. I uh, I have no desire to try it though. I'm just glad that they've done something to it to kind of keep it from being intentionally swallowed by some kids. I have missed every single power up box I've tried to get on this stage so far. This is this is really weird. That's kind of funny. I got second place and didn't get a single power up on that one. Sal kicking it still. We're in second place right now overall. Renegades and Outlaws looks good on her. She got 10 points for that. And the other 10 points she's got from just beating it out of people. Here we go. We got... Ten or eleven rounds to go still. Oh, Renegade to not lost, so we're on the second set, so there's gotta be at least ten. Uh, at the most ten actually. Sal, Steven, Ho, and all on the same team. Wow. Team Keo Sal Steve at this point. And oh. Gross. Nothing says summer like playing video games until midnight. Oh, yeah, Steven. I'm right there with you on that. Let's start by trapping Keo. Seems like a really good strategy. MVP Keo, because of earlier MVP Toadette. Oh, Waluigi, why don't you get Sal? Why won't you get Sal? Somebody get Sal and Keo. They were just right there. Oh, well. GG, guys. It's the way it is. It's the way it is. Mag, Lucas went on Fortnite. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, he's playing the game, man. Oh, and Kyoma, that's... That's, uh, that's probably why. Fortnite is one of those games. It's it's very super popular. Play game mode, because it's just like one-on-one -on -one building. Oh, playground mode? Yeah, for Battle Royale. It's like a 1v1? And there's a ton of building right there. Interesting. Mama's everywhere, apparently. Huh. Oh. As soon as it went up, because there was like, a bunch of glitches. I guess it's back up now. Interesting. I still think Fortnite would be really awesome if Save the World 
did a capture the flag PvP kind of thing, where you wound up getting squads of four, and it was four teams of four, and they get to pre-build a base. I think they were actually pretty cool. But that's just me. I capture the flag or, you know, decode the bomb or, you know, whatever mode you want to call it. Uh, donuts in the middle? Yeah, donuts in the middle is usually good. Until everybody realizes that you're doing donuts in the middle. Just laying down the bomb every few seconds. Yeah. It usually helps a little bit. Yeah. Got you six points. Got you a temporary hat. There's 50 points still up for grabs, so it's still anybody's game right now. Thanks for the tactic, Posh. <laughs> Hoenn Kiyoma. I thought you were Hoenn Kiyoma and not Kakashi Sensei. No copy ninja for you, man. No copy ninja for you. Though that's... You know, Kakashi is one of the most disappointing characters in, in Naruto. Because they, they build him as the copy ninja, right? And they basically go, um, it's easily countered. <laughs> it is easily countered once someone realizes what's going on. But so Kakashi was like this. Uh, sometimes you got to boast at the Sharingan. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, right? Right? But so it was like this penultimate ninja. And then all of a sudden... He, he got outclassed by everybody in the current generation. So bad at this game. Oh, Steven, no worries, man. As long as you have a good time playing and you're playing with friends, that's the, that's the important takeaway. Balloon battle. Oh, we're now again. will people are kind of upset about that because the initial you know the initial warranty for Nintendo controllers is like a year and people are noticing after it's like been over a year old that there's some wear and tear going on Mine's not up yet. Can still use that warranty. that's good that's good it does feel bad so you're basically kind of on the one hand you're praying that nothing really horribly wrong goes with anything but at the other time you're like if it's going to go horribly wrong it needs to go now 70 points I don't know how this would come up. Unless I like dropped it somewhere. Yeah, uh, that could happen. Dropping the controller could make it, you know, damage or pop the thing out, something along those lines. Shine thief. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I think Kyo's got the best beat on the shine. Yeah, just barely though. Oh, I missed him. I had, the, I had a line on it. Ah, yeah, gross. Close, Kyo, slow down, dude. Just want to hug you. Can you 
Ah. Oh. I stole the shine but right afterwards. Oh, yuck. Ah, oh, I missed with every single fireball I had. I missed. GG, Keo. GG, man. That was... That was pretty good, man. That was pretty good. I think that... So we got 30 points left. Vulcan me, welcome back. Welcome back. Disgusting. That's 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 a uh, disgusting. Yeah, man. That's that's pretty good. I f don't think anyone has a chance to catch Kyo at this point. It would it would require some really really gross balloon battle, the bomb blast. Something along those lines. I remember him getting like 40 something in Coin Rush. Yes, but that was in a three minute round. One minute round is a little bit different. The 11th round, we'll see. We. we... Let's see what happens. Oh, I, I saw you playing that, uh, Vulcan. I was, I was looking at your status earlier, and, you know, we always believe you should play what's fun. And the Insane Trilogy, the original Crash Bandicoot Trilogy, was really fun. Played it on PlayStation 1 and 2 way back in the day. Uh, so I, I can't fault anybody for playing some Crash Bandicoot. I just have nostalgia for it, because it was the first game I ever played. That's cool. You know, it was it was meant as a originally Sony meant that to be their their Mario slash Sonic the Hedgehog kind of game. And well, it's 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 uh it's more than that though. I mean, it's it became this this game by Rare, and Rare was picked up by Nintendo, and then Rare got picked up from Nintendo to Microsoft. So it, it was this tactic they had, 99 coin. Oh man, Keo, gross. Keo about to hit triple digits. That crash was by um, Naughty Dog. It was, which was an actual Sony. Uh, and then Rare was actually there and then it split off. If you go back and look through all the history on it, it's, it's kind of intertwined, it's crazy. Like the first one. First one was really cool. Uh, they actually gave a demo out for the first one on Sony forever ago. Uh, you're working on it, Keo. You are. Of course, you know, a lot of people would say that those points might have an asterisk. Because, you know, enjoy watching the USA games for Special Olympics in Seattle. I swear you would love to compete there. Oh, I, I know you would, Vulcan. I know you would. Or TV, yeah. No worries, Vulcan. I can usually read most typos. Oh, I got a dodge for the law. I might pick up 10 points. We'll find I'm out. Back. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh, chance. It's been rough, man. It's been rough. Oh, yeah. We're playing sudden death mode right now with Keo and Posh and Sal. And Keo's like at 99 points right now. Jeez, Keo. I know, right? It's, uh... Keo's gone, man. He is, he's, he's gotten, he's won all three Shine Peaks. Or no, he's won two Shine Peaks. We still have a third one left. But I was just doing the math. Like, if we win every single, if one person wins every single Shine Thief, and every single Dodge to Law from this point onward, they still can't beat Keel unless they get a lot of Balloon Battle Coin Runner points. Like, they'll get 30 points from Shine Thief and Dodge to Law. And then they'll get, if, if, like, I think 31 is the second closest to him right now. So they'd still have to pick up 30 points. Uh, game is spooky. Um, I don't see how, Brent. Um, there's not really any jump scares or any horror. The closest thing that there is to that is, like, you know, carnivorous plants and comical ghosts 
Ah, oh, why Sal not on my team? <laughs> yeah, yeah, broke up Team Kyo Sal. That 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 did it. Hey, hey Mac, I can play now. Awesome, awesome. We're, we're we're playing the the sudden death mode, so we're about to wrap it up for the night. But you could definitely come in and, and try to like you like know beat on Kyo and yeah, keep us from getting points. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Anyway, he's not at 100 already. I, I think he's at 99 right now because he hey, didn't boss. get any points. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Welcome to the game, Chance. <laughs> Hope. Uh, <laughs> tried your strategy of hiding and the NPC pushed you off and killed you. Oh. Uh, Steven, the, the strategy is not the easiest thing to do sometimes. Mm. Uh goofed. Yeah. Uh, one second, guys. Hey, Scotty Featherstone. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, enjoying my Monday, man. Absolutely enjoying my Monday. Yeah, sorry guys, Digrat was having some issues with uh, the elevators in our Arc server. Um, but yeah, Digrat, if if it's not powered, it's just because the generator's off, so it should be okay now. The only big thing is that means that everything in the base was unpowered for a while. Okay, that's not too bad then. I don't think we would have lost anything in the refrigerators. But yeah, Scotty Featherstone, thanks for uh, uh, ho hoping that our Mondays be enjoyed. It greatly is at the moment. Playing Mario Kart with friends, always a good way to get things going on. 14th round. I didn't even see what we're... Oh, balloon battle. Okay. That means the next course, the last one for the night, Shine Thief. Super Luigi Gamer, hello! I saw you, man. I saw you. Didn't even rearview mirror it, Chance. I just was like... I see a link behind me. That means it's either Keo or somebody else. And so I'm at a chance that it's Keo. It can just shoot backwards randomly. I I found that Keo doesn't try to do trick shots, he just usually pulls them off somehow. Oh, I got, I got banana peeled by somebody. I yeah, still got the crown, though. Playground, though, came to Fortnite again. That's what Posh was talking about a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah he, he found out because I found out. And I That's it cool. In our, in Discord. Awesome. And he was like, woo! So, is that a... So, Posh was talking about, is that 1v1? Is that what that is? Basically. And you, like get like a ton more materials and stuff than okay. normal battle royale and you, you have like almost an hour to do whatever you want oh that's cool mm -hmm. see I could possibly get behind that mode because yeah. that gives you a little bit more control over I, so I, I guess they're doing that because of the uh, eSport committee they, they tried to get it to be an eSport and the eSport committee said nope your game's trash. <laughs> you're, you're, and that's, I mean, it really is the way it kind of came across. They're like, 
there is some hurdles you have to like complete to be an esport game and you're nowhere near it like you're so far away from being an esport yeah i mean it's it was like you have to make sure that everybody's on an even playing field uh, you have to make sure that there is a, a more skill involved than chance and there is so much rng in fortnite that there's very little skill and Yeah. Zombie Billy's arrived. Oh, wow. Man, and this was the last round that we were actually about to do with Billy here, and he's the, you know, the guest of honor. We, we really kind of... Oh, awesome. Awesome. Somebody knocked the shine out of him. We'll, we'll have to play... We'll have to do one... We'll have to do one set. Either, either a set of races with Billy for a, a set of uh, battle with Billy because we got about 20 minutes left. We'll, we'll, let, we'll, we'll let Billy choose. Posh has no clue who has the shine right now. It's, that's always my, my tactic. Is like, I have no clue who has the shine right now. You guys are going to have to find that person. Posh might actually take this. Oh, never mind. It took away Posh's hat. Someone's got it. I just don't get a timer for him right now. Oh, it's Chance. Okay. That was that was some DC and a half. Wow. Yeah. I took the timer off you for a second. Yep, GG, GG. No, it's not a vlog, it's a, it's a live video. Look at that. His name is Convertible Turtle Gaming. You can look it up and watch us. Oh, GG guys on that. Nice try, of course. I took fifth. Sal was second place. Didn't think he was going to make it. Oh, Billy, I, we weren't sure he was going to make it either, man. But glad you did. Uh, the decent hit chance several times and seen others hit him second overall for Sally. Yeah, GG guys. Um, are you able to play with this Billy, or is it too late for you, man? Oh, we're getting raided. Hey, JM raid. Welcome raiders. Welcome raiders. Absolutely, Welcome absolutely. Put his name up on JM games. Welcome raiders. Thank you for coming in. Now because he's not going to keep playing. Not going to be for much longer. Anytime we're raided, we of course go through and look at the the, the actual person yeah, who's so. there. Uh, Master General Fleet Admiral Suksuya Jam Raid. Wow, Admiral cool! Wow, wow cool! Thank you for joining in, guys. Raiders. My name is Mag Sync with Convertible Turtle Gaming. Um, exclamation uh, join will give you a link to our actual personal stuff. Yeah, we're playing with some subs here. Thanks, Dominic. Really appreciate that. And we are going to finish out the night with a with four races. Um, just oh yeah, right. absolutely. We we're about to end the stream, but the actual stream tonight's brought to you by Zombie Billy, one of our actual viewers, Trevor Martino. Thanks for the raid, man. JM, really appreciate you coming in with all this raid, dude. Uh, 
Never too late for a raid. Never too late for a raid. We're going to fire this up. Um, say it's two minutes left, so if you want to wait. Uh, okay. Oh, absolutely, Billy. Since uh, the way we do our Melee Mondays for all those new viewers today is whoever contributes for the, the donations for the week is to choose our Monday night public grade. Uh, Brownie Pug. Hey, Jam Raid. Cool. have to mute the echo there oh appreciate it GM <clears throat> appreciate it man are we doing are, what are we doing races or battles we're gonna do four races in a second we're waiting for Billy to get his update finished uh, and so this week okay. Billy actually donated $25 to the channel and that actually got him first place and so Monday night we're we're playing Mario Kart per his choice, and he just now got off work. So we're gonna we were about to wrap it up and actually end the stream, but Billy's doing an update real quick, and he actually got in. And yeah, we're getting a double echo off of uh, Chance's mic, so we're gonna have to mute Chance unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, um, go to head out. All right, Stephen, thanks. Uh, you have a a CT dog. Okay, you're on the way. All right. Uh, didn't see the command pop up. Um, it didn't. Yeah, I, I don't know if Nightbot's down or not. That's so weird. Let me uh, let me go poke Nightbot real quick. Nightbot, why are you not doing your botly duties? Pokemon. You know. I eat you. Oh, it's because we, uh, all right, it's, 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 it's re, resyncing, resyncing. Oh, Helen, thank you, man. Dude, chat, sweet guys, get a hashtag on Kiyoma going in. He is now, oh, there we go. What is going on? Nightbot is just joined with a vengeance. Um, okay. Nightbot is... Nightbot's weird sometimes, guys. Hey, yeah. I, I, hashtag... Kyoma. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the $10 donation there, Steve. Really appreciate it, Ho and Kyoma. All right, so is Zombie Billy in yet? Let's see here. Back out for a second. I don't see his avatar. He's, he's getting the game updated. All right, thanks, Trevor. Really appreciate it. You're, he's coming. He's on his way. He, he promises he's on his way. We're going to go ahead and unmute Chance. I, hopefully the, the echo is gone. I see Chance just drilling back in. I see a Billy. I see a Billy. All right. Zombie Billy is here, and it looks like Chance dropped out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, you, you play in Chance? Almost there. Well, it looks like you're there, man. So uh, we're going to fire this off. Hey, hello, Mr. Meow. How are you? Uh, Mr. Meow Digrat, not Chairman Meow. Of course, you know, Mr. Meow and Chairman Meow could be the same person. Of course, we do mirror mode races, guys. Four rounds of mirror mode when we do mirror mode race. This is the extended race because Zombie Billy was able to get in just in the nick of time. You put no calm. Oh, wasn't necessarily meaning to do that, but it happens sometimes. We'll uh, we'll we'll do what we can. <laughs> Means I'm gonna be last place for a lot. Oh, Zombie Billy starting it off the way he needs to start it off, firing off that Rainbow Road.
Oh. I missed you, Billy. Oh, yuck. I've, I've done everything I can. Uh, my internet connection's good. I, I'm no longer on wireless. Nintendo just does not know how to, to do online gaming correctly. That's all I can figure. That's unfortunate. Though, on the, on the plus side, we gotta admit, is what we're doing here is much, much better, of course, than dial-up. No matter mm -hmm. how bad the fast internet connection speeds can get. Hey, Miles B, how are you? I knew a Miles K at one point in my life, so that's kind of cool. The opponents are still here. Welcome, opponents. The opponents, of course, lurking. Nothing wrong with lurking. Yeah. Usually try to end the stream about midnight, so yeah. I was waiting for Billy to choose races or battle modes, but I figured since we just did a battle mode, we Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can always join in, man. I mean no. Uh, true. You can get to you can get in at least third place. I don't know, man. I don't know. I I I see a link between me and third place. Oh, oh, oh. Golden Mushroom might be able to pull it out. Oh, nope. Off the course. Off the course. Yeah. I'll take fourth. I'll take fourth. And Miles B, welcome to the channel and goodbye. Um, we have the rules and they scroll above my head in the video. We presume you're watching the video when you're here. And we, uh, the mushroom on Rainbow Road never goes well for you. Sally, it's not good for me either. It's not good for me either. Oh, nice. Yeah, excite bike. Here we go. Grumble Volcano, another Rainbow Road. Oh, Zombie Billy is going to shove Rainbow Road down our throats. Same Rainbow Road. Oh, Wario. Okay. I don't think we've ever had anybody pick the Wario thing. I, I don't think we have either. I think we've gotten it from random. So, way cool. It actually just got chosen by the, by the random selector, Wario Stadium. I, yeah, it's usually because someone's chosen random stage, so that's actually kind of cool to see. It's not a bad course. It's it's a nice dirt bikey course. And it's it's mostly straightforward, which I like. Sounds like a go kart track. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's it's laid out more like a, a you know a BMX course. If you ever see motor racing. I just I don't know how I did that. I went through a fireball and it didn't do anything to me. I, I did too. I don't know how I wind up with the desync because I'm like the host. I'm like, uh, that's some really weird, bad netcode Nintendo. Someone tried hitting me with a red shell and I used the mushroom before it hit me. And then yeah, that'll it. do it. That'll work on everything, even the blue shrooms or the blue shells. Trying to do that. Yeah, you got it's the timing though. It's just is just killer like you have to hit the timing like, as the blue shell tries to yeah it's like as the blue shell does the swoop down animation because what you do is you wind up getting outside of the blast radius all 
I'm not gonna dodge oh, the fireball that time. <laughs> oh, here we go. Bullet Bill to the rescue. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Maybe not though. I'm I'm right there at you. Fourth. I goofed. You did. I might get third place after all. Nah. Uh, nah not gonna happen. <laughs> well, you got fourth though. Uh, so far I do. Not long though. Uh, star power with mushroom back up. Yuck. <laughs> hacks, I say hacks. <laughs> sixth place. Oh, results are in. The race is over. Sal crossing the finish line forces sixth place on me. <laughs> GG, Sal. Billy shows your bat all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, Ho and Kiyoma. Oh, I, I, I'm not sure if that's the way that works. I'm not sure if that's the way that works. You got past you with the gold mushrooms. Good job, Sally. Good job. I think I, I think Billy shows up, and so many links. Yes, too many links. Hard to keep them all track of. Just focus on the baby Bowser and the Tanuki Mario, and you'll be fine. Who's the weakest link? <laughs> Who's the weakest link? Oh, Posh just went there. <laughs> I guess a thumbs up, Posh. That's a good pun. <laughs> and why did Posh copy your exact cart combo? Um, because it's good. I'm using the metal wheels. Metal wheels, ah, okay. Wow. Like, uh, like, like right, how about next time everyone picks <laughs> Excite Bike, please? <laughs> oh. Why do we pick Dry Dry? We, this, we've, we've gone over this. We picked Dry Dry. <laughs> South Pick Dry Dry. <laughs> We haven't done dry dry in a while, and it's it's always good to see it. It's it's not it's not that bad of a course. No, because there's lots of better courses. Ah, gotcha. Yes, you did. Though to to be fair, um, not to take away, but to be fair, it's not that hard to get me. <laughs> My defensive capabilities in this game are like bad. Like, watch. Is it slow? Impossible to control. Not really. Yeah, it is. It's just, yeah. it's just a little bit hard to trip and like recover from it and stuff. That's the best part about it. Billy. I hit one guy with the boomerang. I hit one link with the boomerang, and then I'll try to hit the other two. Hey, Chance. How much? Red shield, yeah. Looked like I did. I pulled out a green shell at the last second. Ah. <laughs> Opponents is voting for Moomoo Meadows. I can throw fireballs underneath the water. Still don't understand that. Uh, gonna try that. Throw on your back like you swim faster. Don't understand that. Not true. Ah. Uh. That happens from Kyo a lot. <laughs> There's an inkling in the back. Yeah. That's you? Okay. I was like, I'm not used to seeing an inkling on the stage. Well, it came from. Oh. Like. I got to be first place for a second because of that blue shell. Yeah, 
in first place because oh, bag. oh. Did I take third? I took third. And I took a very big shortcut. I'm all for that. I'm all for that, opponents. That was all my fault. I'll take responsibility. <laughs> you hit me with a piranha plant, and everybody passed. Passed <laughs> everyone. Uh-oh. Billy's gone. Billy's gone? Calm air from Billy. Sad face. Uh, that does mean I get a hat. Uh, possibly. Dropped because you have to do something. Okay. No worries, Billy. I get a hat. If I win. If you win. So you have to win to get a hat? Oh, my lord. Here it comes. Excite bike. Dude, you're lagging so bad. Who's lagging? My uncle's playing. That's playing Fortnite. Oh, okay. He's like glitching halfway across. The oh, that's that's great. I got like, I just got power up starved by Posh and uh, Cohen. They like sandwiched me and took both power ups that were like right in my line. If it makes you feel any better, it was a coin. It does make me feel better. Take that coin in the bank, man. You are. And then snack afterwards. <laughs> I get red shells, I throw them. It's what I do. <laughs> make me think of that one Adventure Time episode. Which one? There's a lot of them. Gigs, like collecting all the coins and then it just turns out to be coins. Oh yes, yes. Uh, yes, hi hi, this is the last race set, man. Uh, we went a little bit beyond because Zombie Billy was, he showed up pretty late and we want to make sure that he got a chance to play because it's because of, because of Billy that we're playing Mario Kart today so it felt really bad that he jumped in as we were about to end. We got Golden Mushroom, followed by Crazy 8. Jeez, man. I know, right? Oh, I just got booed? I got booed while I was star-powered. That, that's... That's... Uh, that's that's just not good. That, that, that's all sorts of just wrong. It's supposed to be invincible. Ghosts are more invincible than star power, I guess, huh? It does make you invisible. True. And it steals your opponent's items and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that was rude. Just threw the lightning bolt after the blue shell. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you get the hat, though? Because... I do. Because I've... Oh, it's six points for first. Oh, that's right. <laughs> GG, Posh. Last time of the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Well, guys, that has been fun. We're about to raid us a family-friendly streamer. And that is Chadley. And we are going to use... Hashtag turtle power when we raid. Gonna throw his actual chat right into. Here we go. Just click on that link, guys, and that'll bring you to his actual dark side of the moon challenge he's running through right now on Mario Odyssey. Start taking a screenshot of every time I get a hat. Hat. <laughs> if you want to join in, guys, just go to his channel and just hashtag turtle power to let him know the rating. Oh, Zombie Billy! Oh. I really appreciate that, Zombie Dang. Billy. That'll be a tie with him and Ho and Kiyoma. How much do you so don't get that going? Hold on. Ten bucks. Hold on. Bro, chill. I'm going to unmute this for a second. Oh, we got another raid coming in. 
convertible turtle gaming raid. Welcome Goodbye. back. Hold on a second. Let me get past this part and I will greet everybody from Convertible Turtle Gaming. And we're just going to jump on his stream, Thank guys. You guys coming in there. Dang it. Man. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Really appreciate no, that. Fun, Typing that stuff so fast, no, Zombie Billy. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely fun. Well, I, I uh, you know, that's exactly the important thing there, Chance, is to have fun. Typing so fast, but Billy will really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. And guys, uh, we're going to hang out with Chadley for a while uh, and watch his stuff. Uh, you guys have a great night. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to have a, a good little break and enjoy my day off. You all have a good morning, good evening, good night. Whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, thanks for watching and have a good one.